welcome to another Warhammer 40k Morty and Glory Battle Report. In today's episode, we find the forces of the Tau Empire desperately trying to hold back the Juggernaut of the Imperium. And it's a special day, an auspicious day, because I think you guys have all spotted it. There's a tire on the field, baby! That's right, we have got a full-blown, legit Forge World Titan for your viewing pleasure today. It's going to be epic. I It is childhood Morian's dream to actually see one of these things in action. And for me not only to see it, but to actually have it in the battle bunker. Oh, it's surreal. It's crazy. We are going to have a lot of fun with this bad boy today. And when I say we, I am, of course, <laughs> once again, joined by my ever salty partner in crime. It is Lord of the High Seas, Admiral Simon. So you're going to have fun today, Simon? I, I'm going to be honest, I'm really glad I'm not running Grey Knights. <laughs> <laughs> Face my storm bolters. <laughs> oh my if you put, yes, uh, I'm going to bring the uh, the Mystic Blob of Doom and a Warhound Titan. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, oh. there, there will be some harsh words spoken. So there will be some people getting you'll be uh, sliding aggressively into some people's DMs <laughs> on Discord. Um, this is actually your first time running the tower, isn't it, Simon? You, yeah, uh, yeah, it's yeah. a little bit of a bit of a learning uh, sort of curve for you, learning game. Um, just so everyone knows, this is going to be a fun battle. Uh, we, it's going to be fun. We've, we've just, we've, I've taken a Warhound. It's not exactly optimized. I've taken a whole bunch of classic models to go with it, just to try and uh, hype up the epic levels even more. And uh, Simon's using an army that he's not used before. So this is going to be a really fun game, really casual, really narrative, uh, really straightforward. And the vibe we want is just to basically have just a big epic showdown for the last battle port that we are recording in uh, in 2023. We're going to see the year out with a bang. And hey, maybe it'll be a really big bang if the Titan explodes. That would be quite cool. <laughs> All right. Well, I know you guys are going to be excited to uh, to have a look at the Titan uh, close up, it does it does come apart. So I'll take you through what's inside it, and uh, I know you want to see what's in the list. So why don't we head over to the two forces that we're battling out today? And here we have two thousand points of his Imperial Guard. As a tradition, we'll start off with the infantry. Ah, I'm only kidding. I'm just pulling your leg. Of course, we're going to start with the big boy. I have a titan. <laughs> Look at that face. That is a face of a man who came here expecting to use a shadow sword and is now using towel. <laughs> oh, not only is he not using a shadow sword for the first time, he's actually facing off against a titan for the first time. <laughs> Tell you. Yeah, cheers for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so how the hell have I ended up with a Titan? There's a little bit of a story behind it, and we'll try and give you the uh, give you the quick version. There's actually I've done a stream of uh, I got a mystery box. Let's see what's inside it, and I'll make sure there's a link to that stream down in the uh, in the description. But basically, last year I ran a big narrative event, and there were 50 people, half of which travelled internationally. And we played a huge 300,000 point game of Warhammer 40k spread over four giant tables. I think the minimum size is like 8 by 12 or something insane. And um, it was like a proper battle. It wasn't like there was no like objectives or anything like that. It was like capture the city or storm the fortress, all that kind of stuff. And at the end of that, um, some of the people that attended uh, decided that they wanted to they wanted to get me a secret gift, a secret present as a thank you for, for organizing it. And I had no idea about this. I was just I was just happy that it all went off without, <laughs> without falling apart, frankly. Um, and so in secret, since August 2022, they have been plotting and planning and scheming 
And the end result was that uh, about um, about a dozen, and I'll go through and say a personal thank you to each one of the people that made this happen. They they decided they wanted to get me a Titan, and this is a legit Forge World Titan, and they all they all chipped in to make it happen. And some of you may have noticed that it's even it's even in the official colours of the Morning Fifty Rifles. You've got the blue. And you've got the green. And they've even done some hazard stripes on there as well. And if you notice down here on the leg, you can see on the uh, sort of the filigree on the scrolls on the side of the leg, it says Mordian Glory, which is just insane. And there's all of my uh, most hated foes scattered on the base is the towel. <laughs> so it's an unbelievably generous gift. Like it's actually... Hasn't quite sunk in yet. I've had it for about 24 hours at the time of recording. No, it's sunk in for me now. It's sunk in for you. <laughs> it, it, it hasn't sunk in. I keep like, I keep sort of looking over at it and going, is it is it real? Is, yeah. it, is it there? And I just want to say, like, I wish I, I wish I was more of a linguist to be able to, like, express my gratitude more than just by saying, like, thank you. Because it is an absolutely unprecedented level of support. So I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to all of the Giga Chads that made this happen. Akashareka, Campbell, Cosmic Drew, Charles B, Frosten, Jordan Freeman, L11 Tristar, Lord Prayer, It's a Me Marco, Ravenga, and Parabellum Painting Services. Parabellum Painting Services is actually uh, the guy that painted this bad boy up. The others chipped in the money and then he uh, painted it up. And he's done an unbelievably good job if i just uh take a moment here i'm gonna do this very carefully of course but the top comes off here and all of the inside has been painted you've even got the little gun servitors inside which have been painted and then the head comes off as well and you've got the princeps inside who's painted and if i come out here and hopefully the lighting will show this all of the consoles inside have been done in like fine, fine detail. So it's an absolutely next level painting job. So not only do I want to say a massive thank you to all those guys that came together and 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 put you know came together and made uh, this possible and, and funded the Titan as it were, but I also want to say a massive thank you to Parabellum Painting Services for doing an amazing job. And I will make sure there's a link down to his painting service down in the description. And honestly. If you're thinking of getting anything commission painted, based on the work that Steve's done here, I can whole wholeheartedly uh, recommend him. All of the tiniest details. He's obviously done his homework when it comes to even making sure like the red tufts on the bases match the rest of the army. He's absolutely gone above and beyond the call of duty. Um, so yeah, just once again, massive thank you. I'm going I'm to say him again. It's, it's so nice. I'm going to say it twice. I'm going to say it again. Massive thank you to Akashreka Campbell. Cosmic Drew, Charles B, Frost Ed, Jordan Freeman, L11 Tristar, Lord Prayer, It's Me Marco, Ravenga, and Steve from Parabellum Paying Services. You guys, I don't even know. I don't even, I don't even have the words. I don't even have the words. Is that Cosmic Drew from the uh, inc the Inquisitorial War? Battle? It is. Yeah, I've got some words for him. <laughs> 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 oh... <laughs> Cosmic is your unseen nemesis. He's your Moriarty. <laughs> okay, someone just in the ether just trying to peck my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So we've got a Warhound today. We're using it in a 2,000 point game. This is very much just going to be a bit of a fun one because uh, I, I don't know how good Warhounds are, but obviously they're, they're a bit of an epic model. They're a bit of a showpiece. So we're going to use the Warhound. Simon has kindly... Um, stepped up and is using the towel so i get an opportunity to use uh my fantastic model um and i want to say a big thank you to him for doing that because obviously he's not run towel before and it wasn't what he was expecting so appreciate that simon and uh hopefully the warhammer will get to walk around and stomp on a bunch of uh of your guys but before we check out the towel list i'll briefly run through what's in the rest of the guard uh i thought if we're taking an amazing model like a titan we should back that up with some classic metal modern infantry so i've gone total old school guys and all of the infantry are infantry squads every single one is uh, a metal modern and uh the, the loadouts are a bit hodgepodge because i've 
my metal mordians are obviously they're not like converted like my plastic ones they are just what they've got um so we've got sergeants in this squad with power swords and and, uh, and las pistols we've got a grenade launcher flamer las cannon a missile launcher they've got a platoon command squad with what you see is what you get there uh, we've got the same uh, same sort of vibe here so a couple of las cannons a couple of melter guns a couple of sergeants las pistols and chainsaws uh, they're led by uh, Creed today. Uh, it's old school Creed. I thought that would be pretty cool. Uh, and then we've got um, uh, another squad here. A couple of grenade launchers, a couple of missile launchers, sergeants, last pistol and chainsaw. And likewise, a couple of grenade launchers, a couple of last pistol chainsaws, a couple of water cannons, platoon command squad. And then we've got Lord Solar Makaris here representing a Castellan. Really, kind of just using these guys, these Cajun officers, to represent the classic... Uh, sort of company commanders and platoon commanders that like you could get back in sort of an eighth edition and whatnot. Uh, and then we've also got a mortar team, all metal Mordians. Uh, I've actually missed one of the mortars. I'll go and grab that. Uh, and then we've also got a basilisk. And so in this entire army, there is uh, everything is metal, except the basilisk, which is plastic, but this is the same basilisk I have had since I was 11 years old. Uh, and then we've also got one plastic Voxcaster guy here as well. Um, and then obviously there's a big resin model too. <laughs> what are you saying? So you put, managed to put a Warhound Titan in a list and there's still bloody 80 infantry. In there's still 80 infantry. In a funny sort of way, it kind of makes me think that if you're going to use a Warhound, Guard is almost the best army to use it with <laughs> because you can still fit everything in yeah. that you need. But yeah, I thought basically I'll take the normal amount of infantry, smattering of, of indirect fire, and then rather than taking a whole bunch of tanks, we'll just take a big giant Titan. But that's everything that we've got for the guard. I'm going to have to drag myself away now. And I suppose, we, I suppose for the sake of it, we should look at the towel. It's going to be quite quick. I've got some red and black stuff. That's it. There we go. <laughs> there we go. And here we have 2,000 points of Simon's favourite army. There might well be. I've got no idea. <laughs> there might well be. Although you have said off camera in the past that you're not exactly a fan of the towel oh, to be fair I was thinking about if any ever played them twice and they left such a bad impression no I think it was watching your videos today. <laughs> it's probably my fault uh, I actually have to admit I really enjoy using the towel they feel like uh, very similar to guard but they're, they're a lot more mobile whereas guard it's, they sort of scratch different itches and when you play guard you play it because you want to embrace that sort of world war one grinding forward sort of vibe it's a you know you're in battle of attrition whereas tau feels a little bit more like um mobile warfare speak for yourself i like the tanks you like the tanks so <laughs> even the tanks feel like trundling behemoths as it yeah, were true, true um so uh, simon i have built you this tau list today um uh, and i just want to say you're know, like obviously thank you for running it the original plan was i was going to run the tau and simon was going to run uh, a shadow sword and a high, I was going to build him a hybrid guard army with the uh, with the shadow sword. But then when we when we got the community titan, it had, oh, it's we now, isn't it? Oh, fantastic! We We're, we do they get joint custody? You get joint custody of, <laughs> of my baby. Yeah, when the when we got the when we got the uh, community titan, it uh, it felt we had to sort of radically uh, quickly change the plans, as it were. Um, so Simon, I uh, I know we we've, you've got your list of footy everything, but what I'll do is I'll I'll. Take the guys through the list because I know what what everything's got, if that's all right. Yeah, yeah, fire away. There we go. i got a Scooby-Doo. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's very much going to be a friendly game today. I am going to be sort of helping Simon with like what his what, what weapons and war gear is. And um, I'm just going to be stomping around the Titan and <laughs> full on memeing it and narrativing it with the, uh, with the army. If I can fix bayonets, I will fix bayonets, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, so starting off on the left, we will start with the infantry corps. Actually, quite a lot of infantry. It's for me. Yeah. So we've got two units of Pathfinders. Uh, there are three rail rifles in each squad. And then there's also a uh, a recon drone in there as well. They've got all of the usual accoutrement and free upgrades that you, you can get. But we went for the rail rifles and the, and the big recon drone. Uh, we've then got three uh, units of Tau uh, Fire Warriors. These are strike teams. And they've all got the pulse rifles, and then the uh, there is also a guardian drone in there, a guardian drone that makes you minus one to wound. 
Okay. So they're pretty tough. Uh, and I think there's, there might also be some other, like like a gun drone there as well. But uh, but any any free drones that we don't mention will basically be gun drones, just to add that little bit of extra uh, firepower. But the specific one that is important to remember is the uh, is the Guardian drone, because it's a Fire Warrior specific one, and it gives you that sweet, sweet minus one to be to be, uh, to be be wounded. Uh, we've then got the Elite, uh, and there is a big unit of Crisis Battle Suits, and they are led by a Crisis Commander. Now, the Crisis Battle Suits have got a pretty take-all-comers uh, loadout. They've got a fusion gun each uh, for some tank busting. They've got a plasma rifle each, which is just a fantastic all-round weapon. It's like flat damage three. Uh, and then they've got a missile pod as well, giving them sort of a, uh, it's kind of like, a, it's kind of like the old school auto cannon, it can handle a bit of everything. Each uh, crisis suit has got a shield generator, giving them a four plus save, which is ironically a better invulnerable save than the uh, Warhound. Makes sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so many things. Uh, and then each crisis suit has got two shield drones, which don't give you an invulnerable save anymore, they give you extra wounds. So each one of these crises will have six wounds, which makes them pretty bloody chonky. Uh, the commander has also got two shield drones, and he's also got a shield generator. Uh, but he's got a burst cannon, a cyclic ion blaster, and he's also got a plasma rifle as well. So there's a lot... Th these guys, I describe them as sort of anti-everything. You come across a vehicle, the melter and the plasma will get the job done. And if you come across... Um, some infantry, well, because there's so many of them and the, you've got the missile pods and, and you've got the commander in there, there's enough volume to be able to decimate a platoon of guardsmen in a pretty short order. Speaking of decimating guardsmen, we have got the two uh, stealth teams, uh, six uh, stealth suits in each team, and they've all got burst cannons and the sergeant has got two gun drones, hence why we put a little gun drone marker next to each one of those squads. Um, it just means that they've all got the same amount of wounds, which is easy for Simon to keep track of, and it means they've got lots and lots of more Dakar. And that's an extra four shots twin linked per squad, so hard to do your nose with that. That covers all of the infantry style stuff, then we get into the battle suits and the tanks. We have got the Ghost Keel, he is armed with twin burst cannon and the fusion collider. Figured that um, Simon's taking on a a tank, the Fusion Collider is probably the, well, Titan, I should say. Fusion Collider is probably uh, the way to go. I personally like the uh, Cyclic Iron Raker, but I thought we'll try the Fusion out today. Uh, we've then got a Riptide. Uh, he's got the Ion Accelerator. He's also got a, a twin linked plasma rifle, and he's got his two missile drones. Uh, and then we've got uh, the tanks two Devilfish, both with burst cannon, smart missile systems, and two Seeker missiles. And then we've got two Devilfish and Longstrike. Longstrike is going to be the uh, Hammerhead. Um, I think I said two Devilfish and Longstrike. I meant two Hammerheads and Longstrike. Longstrike is going to be the Hammerhead with the uh, with the sensor spines on top here. He's going to have a Rail Cannon, a Smart Missile System, and two Seeker Missiles. And then we've got another Hammerhead with the exact same loadout, but it's just not Longstrike. And they've got another Hammerhead with an Ion Cannon and a Smart Missile System and two Seeker Missiles. So there is a lot in this list. Uh, the last time I I built a Tau list was before the recent points update. And I just got my I got my last like like my last list out, just that I'd saved it and just sort of got it out. I was like, oh here you go, Simon, here's your list. And then he sort of built it on his phone to make sure that he had the data sheets easy to hand. And he went, oh, it's only like 1,600 points. And I was like, <laughs> what? And then I actually checked. And yes, I hadn't even noticed, but my list had gone down, the one that I'd written before the update, by 320 points, which is insane. Yes. This is, this is basically like running a guard army, the <laughs> amount of stuff you can get in it. I think these guys might even be better pointed than the guard. As a guy, and yes, I know I've got a Titan, but I still feel massively outnumbered, and that's never a good position for a guard player to be in. Uh, but it should be cool. It'll be interesting. I like to feel. I like to think that this is um, this is this this Tau army is its first time encountering a Titan, and so they've brought like what they think is like they, they they don't believe that titans are real it's like the propaganda and everything and you know the imperial propaganda well simon you're about to learn that titans are indeed real and let's go over to the field of battle 
after the deployment. And here we have the field of battle after deployment. The Imperial Guard have broken up into four platoons, each one with a mission to drive the men into the middle of the board. Of course, we have got the epic Warhound Titan just slap bang in the middle. Not putting on a flank, not putting it... I can't, can't put it in reserve. It's over a thousand points. But... Uh, <laughs> Bring it in nine inches away from something. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I think you might be able to put it in reserve with the Lord Solar. That would be like that that meme you said about the guy you uh, just uh, couldn't bring on his. Uh, is it white scars? Yeah, the white scars and the towel. Yeah, now, I'm just saying you would do that to me. Yes, excellent. But if you think about it from a, you are embracing your towel player mentality. Excellent, sir. Sucking all the fun out yeah, of the but, game. But can you imagine the algorithm would go crazy for? Someone running their Warlord, uh, Warhound Titan for the first ever game, and it being stuck in reserve. Yeah, I think You'd you be would be a meme forever. It would be a meme forever, and I'm pretty certain that you would become a icon of hatred and loathing. <laughs> The community, the lambasting that you had received, sir. Listen, I feel I'm already like that with the uh, Inquisitor block, to be honest. That's true. <laughs> Somebody's got it in for me. That's true. Oh. So, yeah, basically, guard, line, titan, epic. I don't need to go through my deployment anymore. I just deployed in a big line. Only thing of note is I did put up some of my indirect fire behind this big ruin. Um, I feel like I might learn the joys of the towering rule today. Yes, and I'm quite looking forward to teaching it here. Excellent, excellent. I really hope I get turn one so my titan actually does <laughs> something before it gets deleted by an entire uh, tower gun line. Uh, as for the tower, you've not put anything on this flank, but you do have uh, multiple units in reserve and in transport. So these are deep striking in, this guy's deep striking in, yeah. fire warrior blobs inside the uh, devil fishes. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got um, Riptide over here with the hammerhead sort of more towards your right flank unit of... Pathfinder supporting them so they can do some spotting. Uh, Devil Fisher Fire Warriors and an Iron Cannon here. Another unit of Fire Warriors here. No transport for them. Big sad. We've got a uh, Hammerhead. Long Strikes here, isn't he? Yeah, Long Strikes here. Yeah. And then we've got another Devil Fish with the unit inside. And then you've infiltrated forward your two stealth teams so that you can jump out and get some early dacker on me if, uh, if, if you get turn one. Yes. Excellent. There we go. So that is deployment. Uh, mission, we should say, we have gone for as straightforward as possible. Simon is using, as we've said a few times now, Tau for the first time. Just really emphasize that. Uh, I'm using a Titan, and I, I don't really want to think today. I just want to use my Titan. So we've gone for priority targets. If you hold an objective, you get five points. If you hold two objectives, you get ten points. That's it. Don't even need to worry about if it's no man's land or not. Just, just got a couple of objectives. You're happy on primary. We're both using the cards. And uh, the twist we've gone for is Chilling Rain. Because it's easy to... Re I would say it's easy to remember. It's actually just easy to forget. Yeah. There you go. Uh, we have tried doing a few of the other twists and mission rules. But they don't really, unless, you, unless you wanted to absolutely just screw someone over with scramblers basically they don't have any impact we should do a scramblers or delayed reserves one one day just especially when you're using your grey knights no. oh, oh yeah here's the three inches you can come on the table uh, if you even come on because delayed <laughs> delayed reserves is you if you roll if you don't roll a three plus your unit doesn't come on oh god no PTSD <laughs> from playing bolt action with that rule <laughs> oh my god um so I tell you what let's get the dice trade together now and find out Who's going to have the first turn? All right, Simon, as my guest, I assume you insist on me rolling first. Yes, that's the way. All right, here we go. It's a big six. I'm stuffed now. It's going to be a two or a four. It's a two or a four. Simon only ever rolls twos or fours. Hey, it's a two or a four. <laughs> Every single time. Oh, my God. People will start to believe me now that these dice are cursed with me. Aren't you they? should... Go to like a casino, and I, I I don't know how gambling works, so I might be speaking on my ass, but I'm sure you can pretty much bet on anything, can't you? You can be like, I guarantee I'm going to roll this number. If you do, then you uh, <laughs> then you win, don't you? I don't know if that's like the crap table or something, but you should definitely see, try. It's, it's added up to a four. It doesn't count at this point, though. It, wasn't it added up to a four, it's though. Two or four, two or four. They're two or four. Always a two or four. Always there are two of them. 
<laughs> Although sometimes there are four of them. <laughs> it's like knock off Star Wars rule of two, Sith. I normally I go first as well in a game I really wanted to go first. You've not done? I've not done. Well, uh, in a funny sort of way, it will probably at least give the Titan a turn to show off <laughs> something. And then uh, it'll probably fall over after that. But it gets at least one turn to uh, to stomp around and make Titan noises. Well, it won't, it won't make the Titan noises. I will make the Titan noises. Here it comes! Striding forward. The Warhound Titan walking over the ruined buildings as if they were not there. Ah. Oh. Absolutely awesome sight, man. Ah, ah, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. <laughs> Sam is furiously checking his data sheets already. <laughs> so turn one, moving on command for the guard. We gained a CP. Orders we went for. Move, move, move. Take cover, take cover, uh, take cover. Uh, and then we put take aim on the mortar team here because we've got uh, Creed who can do uh, two orders and we've got the two command squad. And I put Creed... And the platoon command squad in this one unit here, so that um, Creed can take advantage of the master box. Um, so that was all my movement there, my orders. <sighs> Time for some uh, oh cards. Time for some cards. So I drew behind enemy lines, which I uh, I can't get. So I'll probably bin that off at the end of the term. Uh, and then I also drew to kill no man's land, which I can do. I can do. If I make this charge from stealth suits, I don't even need to beat them. I just need to charge them. Um, so that's uh, so I'll be able to get some points this turn. Um, but let's get into the shooting. And I think let's do the the big boy. Let's do the big boy. So Simon, if you could be a gent here and pull up the stats for the Warhound Titan, I know what his Vulcan Mega Bolter does. It has three las guns. Three las guns. Is that yes. it? Three lads going to raise, That's even. It, yeah. That's it. It's not very good, is it? No. Um, <laughs> Seems to be overpriced to me, but hey. <laughs> well, that was, hey, after that last battle report, Simon, I have great faith in the lads going to raise. <laughs> there we go. So uh, we've we've right. poked it into the uh, we've poked it into the ruin. So two d six plus three. We've poked it into the ruin, so now it can see it can see through. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put its plasma blast gun. It's going to be kind of funny. The plasma blast gun is going to shoot from over here. Yeah. And it's going to go into your hammerhead with the ion cannon, which is the only one I can, I can see. Yeah. And then I'm going to put the Gatling gun into the stealth team. No. We're just going to put everything into the hammerhead. Right. Okay. Let's put everything into the hammerhead because the hammerhead's only T10, right? Yes. I don't think you need to put everything into it, to be fair. Hmm. I'm only winning on fours, though, aren't I? Mm. With a plasma blast gun, assuming I overcharge it. Yeah. What's yeah, the stats yeah, of it? 2d6 plus 3. Okay. Hitting on 3s. Okay. Strength 10, so wounded on 4s. Minus 3. So you're in cover, you'll get a 5-up save? Oh, you're not... Uh, no, you won't be in cover there, will you? That's very generous, but I'm not. So 6-up <laughs> save. Uh, and then 5 damage. You only need to get 3 through. <sighs> if I split, I won't get any through. I'm just going to do it. The Titan's just going to unleash everything. Fair enough. It's going to unleash everything because I actually don't want the Titan to over to do to do too well here and then stop me from getting the charge. Yeah, like my uh, my Avenger did last time. Yeah, exactly. I think Titan. I guess should... actually you could still whip on the uh, number of shots. Exactly. So two D two D six two D six from the uh, plasma blast gun. There you go. It wasn't a huge amount. Two D six. So shots. it's eight. Yep. Eight shots. Uh, that's six. That's eight. Hitting on, uh, hitting on threes. Hiya! Oh, I've got a lot of ones and twos so far. Yeah. It's all right. I got um, four hits. Yeah. Now, and if you were if you were in the Canoptic Court and a Necron, you could re-roll all those things. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Tends to be a fine thing. <laughs> Tends to be a fine thing. I mean, the Admech makes this thing. The Admech do like finding Necron tech, maybe. <laughs> all right. Uh, to wound. Two wounds. There we go. Uh, AP minus three. It's a good listen to me, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> AP minus three, so five ups. Because of six. oh, six ups, yeah. Stop trying to give me cover. I'm Sorry. Gonna... Nope, so ten damage. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. So what's the Gatling gun get? Uh, the Vul The Vulcan is it sustained hits? Sustained is it? hits, yeah. Okay, so we've got ten. 
We've got eight, so we need, uh, we'll have to do two more dice after this. Ugh. I need to do a few more. Okay, so we've got that. Oh, that's a lot of state hits. Okay, so those miss. And these are sustained. And then these are the regular hits. And then I had five dice, which uh, I didn't roll. Because I had two, I only had 18 white dice. I had three that I couldn't pick up. Two left over for the 20. Um, so I get two more hits there. And then for sustained hits, I need one, two, three, four, five. I've got three here. Two more green ones. Okay, so these are winning on fives. All right, so we've got the first wave and we've got the second wave. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Yes, ah, it's so cool. Oh man, feel the power of the Adeptus Mechanicus, or the Adeptus Titanicus! Nine, Nine at minus one, so four ups. Not looking good there for him. Ooh. Yeah, he's very dead. He's yeah. very dead. The uh, the, t <laughs> the tower ethereal's face when the mountain starts moving closer towards him. Doesn't play well. I'll make sure I get this right next week. I was blowing up on ones last week and not sixes. Were you? <laughs> Were you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my to be God. fair, I was consistent with it all game, so... Uh... That's all right. There's a one in six chance, <laughs> yeah. as long as you're all in the right dice. Uh, so this one is gone. <sighs> Would have been nice if it had been a railhead, but I will I will take it. A good display from the Titan before it inevitably uh, gets taken out in one turn. <laughs> oh, excellent. Um, so my own, I've got a little bit of other firepower left over. Like I might have a couple of shots from here that I can see a devil fish and whatnot. But that is pretty much going to be it. So we'll do the rest of the guard shooting off camera. And then we'll get that bayonet charge on camera in just a moment. Not wanting to be outdone by their big brother who I have called Kevin. <laughs> Kevin the Titan. We actually came up with that on stream when I when I unboxed it. It's going to be the the name that the guardsmen have given the Titan. It's Kevin because guard because soldiers always give things like like pet names. So it's guardsman name is going to be Kevin. But we're going to let people down in the comments decide what they want. It's like regal, like high gothic Latin name to be. Nigel's bitch. Nigel's. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Nigel Mark II. New and improved. <laughs> I wonder who would win in a fight, New Nigel or him. I don't know, in melee, probably New Nigel. Oh yeah, if you're going to, but then get your blast weapons as well. One of them is. Yeah, I'd be there, like shooting the Gatling gun. Do you like, find that New Nigel's going to stump a lot of stuff? New Nigel is good. Simon, you're very excited about Necrons, aren't you? You've mentioned it in every non Necron battle report we've done in the last uh, couple I of am, weeks. Yeah, yeah, it's just quite. <laughs> It's quite often when you get like the, the go, oh, there's quite a nice build. Oh, I've got virtually all the models. Oh, like. I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> when your collection reaches, when you've sunk that, when the sunk cost fallacy comes back around and actually it becomes a wise investment. I knew buying these, I knew buying this Nightbringer five years ago would come around. <laughs> so not wanting to be outdone by Kevin. Uh, this squad of guardsmen hitting on fives, it's two last cannons, actually got double five cool. on the devil fish. Um, Simon's customary uh, off word, off off camera, strong words came out. Uh, but I did manage. To, um, I don't know why I'm surprised by that. <laughs> I found someone who's got even more cheesy look than I have. No. I have. You're so full of shit. I have. So full of shit. I have Alex, <laughs> Alex, uh, Alex Wargame who plays by act with me. Honestly, never face this guy with a neb because it only hits on sixes, but he always gets that six. No, not uh, buying it. No, uh, right. Well, I'll put. I will put you two up against each other, <laughs> and then you will. You'll never complain about my jammy sixes ever again. But yeah, a couple of last cannons came out. Six wounds on that devil fish. Then we did a coordinated bombardment from the basilisk and the mortar teams into the pathfinders uh, back here, and there are now just two of them left over with uh, the rail rifle. So because we want to try try and keep as much uh, anti tank as we can uh, when we're facing. A titan. Uh, so that was all of my shooting there. Uh, we've now got a cheeky little bayonet charge over here. Oh, I get the charge on a 10. So if I can base, I must base. So I'm going to be like, oh, hello. That is t that is basing. Bring them all in. 
Do, 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 do. Oh, this uh, broccoli is going to get in the... Oh, no, the metal models. Ah, oh, the metal models. Oh, the infamy. There we go. The one problem with having all these classic metals is the moment that you have all this cool, like, filigree and stuff on the board, it just goes out the window. Uh, this guy will come around to here. Probably go a bit further around, actually, with the 10 inches. This guy will come around to here. And then... What I'm going to do is basically um, Castellan will pop in here and then the others won't be able to base. So what I'll do is I'll just basically put them up against this wall and they'll just fight off the people in front of them. I'm not going to worry about messing around and taking them out of the tray because they would be able to loop around here and loop around here. Just for just to let Simon know and the, for the viewers. Uh, yes, if we were playing absolutely precisely, these five guys in the back wouldn't be able to hit. But remember that I had plenty of movement to wrap around the sides and we're just doing this for ease of play. So play as intended, as we always do so. Um, and if anything, it stops me getting as many people near the objective. So there we okay, are. Right there. Yeah. Um, swings and roundabouts, I believe. Um, so we'll do some some fighty fighty. Um, I don't believe you're stealth in close combat, are you? No, no. You're just uh, regular no, leg stealth. stealth. No, it's a stealth. So Yeah, but stealth is... Oh, oh, stealth is for shooting, it's for ranged attacks. Yeah, so, no, not, uh... yeah. so we'll go with, we've got two sergeants with chain swords. Um, so they'll have three attacks each. Um, so we'll get those done first. Oh, not in the tray. Uh, a mighty one hit. Okay, we'll put that to one side. Uh, we've got the two uh, weapon teams as well. So we've got two attacks each and then the two grenade launcher guys. Uh, we've got three more hits there. So remember, we've got four hits. Uh, and then we've got um, a whole bunch of rifle butts. Let's have a look. I'm looking for sixes for sustained hits. So it should be 12 riflemen. Uh, doot. There we go. Oh, yeah, they went off the table. As, as suspected. Add another dice in there. Hey, we finally got one sustained hit. Nice. So we'll put that there for the sustained hit. Boom, there we go. So I've not hit you awfully well. Hopefully the Castellan will be able to pull his finger out. Uh, and then wounding on fives, I imagine. Certainly out. Three wounds with the mighty zero AP. Three ups. There you go. It'll definitely be three ups, yeah. We've killed one, hooray. One has died, and then the Castellan's going to go with his power fist, or oh, power rod. Um, oh, oh, matron. Uh, and he's got uh, two hits and two wounds. If he minus two, uh, one dead. There you go. And that is all of my, uh, all of my attacks, sir. So would you like to... Um, would you like to strike strike me back? Yeah, let's give it a go. So five and threes. Nice. Hey, not bad. That's better, better, technically better but hitting percentage than mine. <laughs> That's just uh, yeah. Uh, two wounds. Yeah. Two dead. Bang, bang. There we go. And then a bit of piling will be like whoop. Like that, and then he'll just come over to like here, and he'll just come over to like here. There we go. Bit of shooey, bit of choppy. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Job's done. There we go. So that's a nice starting turn from the guard. We have secured no man's land with that. We definitely have more objective control on there than the uh, than the towel, and we're going to bin off at the end of the turn, gaining an extra CP. Uh, behind enemy lines so uh not bad titan got to do some stuff and we got a good old good old turn one bayonet charge and then we're going to go into turn one for the tower turn one for the tower i just realized that it's very appropriate that you're playing tower because you are salty sad simon and you salty sad man maybe later <laughs> salty simon and um the tower fish people does this make sense? You you have found your faction, Simon. It's finally here. Um, so turn one for the towel. You drew investigate signals and engage on fronts. Not 
Great cards. They, they're like that's like a perfect turn two pair for I was you. Thinking, yeah, would have been ideal. Um, but what you've done is you. We had a bit of a think about it, and uh, you were thinking about like holding on to Vesic signal so you could get more points next yeah. turn. But you figured you'd rather do it now with them, clear it, and then draw another card next time. Yeah, I think so. Because still gets you points. It's just like it's just two points. Just two. Engage. You're going to keep for next turn. Yeah, I presume. All right. Uh, these guys fell back. The sergeant and one of the guy has the battle suit support system. So. Uh, two of the squad uh, will sorry he's part of that squad two of the squad will still be able to shoot and the yep. sergeant will be able to with his gun drones as well which is cool yep. um, and then um, they've jumped forward to help blast them yep. and they'll probably be pairing up nicely so I'll, you'll be uh, you'll be having a good time there and I think there was some other pairing that you were thinking of. you don't have to declare it yet but you were thinking maybe Pathfinder's pair for them Pathfinder's pair for them uh, that that Pairs with him. Uh, that uh, they're, they're going to pair for these two. He's going to pair with him. Yeah, everything's going to be paired up. Yeah, basically. everything's going to be paired up, and we'll get to it when when it happens. So yeah, the thing with the tower rule is it's it's quite good, and pathfinders do work well with it. It's just annoying keeping track of who <laughs> is paired with whom. Yes, it's like how about you just like a guard order one unit just marker lights it, and then that unit can't shoot. And then he puts a token on it. Be far too simple. Or that, no, maybe maybe. <laughs> what if you just mark a light to the unit and everyone else gets plus one to hit against that unit? Yeah. So it's kind of like the opposite of like a guard order. You know. Yeah. That that would make sense. Yeah. What if you made them like guard orders? What if you literally just had a marker light and it can do a number of different things? Too, too, too simple. Too, too, too simple. Too Fair enough. And if you know, if if, if you battle shot that he's wobbling the light and he can't get it on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is your your movement and command, Simon. Where do you want to start from shooting? Oh, let's start with the big gut stuff. Let's All start. right. Big boys coming in. Who's shooting first? We'll start off with uh, what's it called? Long strike. Long strike. Yeah. Should have been called. Striking on. long. There we go. Right. So. Okay. Now he has abilities as well. So just check what his abilities yeah, do. An array. I can reroll one hit and reroll one. Or one wound. Nice. Um, I can 12 inches. Is he within 12, actually? That, um, 12 with that other hammerhead? Yeah. You've got to take measure there. I think you'll probably be out, but you yeah, could you could I'm move around. Move forward, though. I'm going to... No, I'm out. You're out? You sure you don't want to move around? No, because if I do that, then you're just going to... I might see you and kill you. Whack me. So, yeah, yeah, okay. No, don't think it's worth it for lethal hits. Okay, No. No, probably not. So, uh, so he's got the rail, rail cannon into him. So this is a long strike. Here we go. Uh, so what else has he got? He's got the rail cannon. Yeah. Two seeker missiles, which are like hunter killers. Yeah. And two and a twin link smart missile system, which is anti infantry. Yeah. So they're going to go into them. Anti infantry weapons yeah. here. Cool. And then the seeker missiles, I can only do one per turn, can't I? No, you can go absolutely All right, well, bananas we'll with them. Do that, then. You can. <laughs> Right, let's start with the rail cannon. Rail cannon. Rail gun. Rail gun. Rail gun. Hitting on twos. Going in here. Hit on twos because you stayed still and I'm tiring so you can just see me. And you're a vehicle. And I'm a vehicle. And you're marker lit. I, 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 very much twos. Very much twos. It's a hit. How am I going to... We're done a three. We're done a three. It's a four. I get a five of invulnerable save. No. D6 plus six. D6 plus six. Nine damage. Nine damage. That's not a bad start. That's not a bad start. Oh, God. It's getting <laughs> wounded. All right. Let's keep a track of this because otherwise we'll very quickly lose track. So it's taken nine so far. All right. Seeker missiles. Yeah. Uh, so I will be hitting on. So four base. Um, Still and twos. Just because it's so one is. is so you got plus one ballistic skill from the marker light. And one to the hit roll. And one to the hit roll. So you still hit on twos. Here we go. Eagle one. Okay, so two hits. Strength. 14. We're on threes. Well, only one wound. I can use one per turn to re -roll. You can use one per turn. Two wounds. Uh, oh, I was like, please be devastating wounds. No. <laughs> Minus three. Uh, so fire and vulnerable save again because you're ignoring cover because you were mar I was marked up by something with I was spotted by something with a marker light. First one, it's not on the tray. First one, passed. Second one, fail. Go through. Whoa! 
Three damage. Four. Is it? No, it's just D6 on there. D6 plus one. Are you, oh, ooh, your ones are special, are they? My, my, my. All right, so. Better than my hunter killer missiles, apparently. <laughs> well, better than mine, because it actually hit something. That's true. <laughs> I've taken 13 we're in so far. I've got 27 left. Uh, right, now I need another one. But yeah, hammerhead gunship. Hammerhead gunship. Here we go. So, uh, same thing. Hitting on twos. Hit on twos. Uh, he's doing exactly... Oh, hang a second. Let's go back. I've still got the... Uh, oh, you got the smart missile system. Smart missile system that will be hitting on... So it's minus one because you're firing indirect yes. and I'm not so marked. It, yeah, so it's it's fives. So uh, twin. Twin linked is just for wounding. Yeah, so it's four shots. Four shots into the troopers. Uh, he's got three hits. Well done. And then wounding on threes. Uh, all wounded. Yep. Uh, and then I... Is it ignored? Does it ignore cover still? Uh, no, it's indirect fire twin linked. Okay, so I'll get a four up against this. Nope. Six up feel no pain. No, so, man, that would have been nice of the way around. So, uh, three troopers will fall. All right. Titan screams out in pain. It's not having a good time. 13 wounds to it, so there's 12 more than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> right, the other. Other hammerhead, here we go. The big gun. Big gun. It's hit. Big gun. It's wounded. Five up. I'm going to use a CP reroll. CP reroll? No, a four into a four. Damage. Ooh, not in the tray. Oh, 12 more damage. I'm not going to reroll that. <laughs> it's going down, boys. It's going down. So the Titan has got 15 wounds left. I told you, time was like, I don't have enough anti tank. I was like, Yeah, but I was not expecting to hit. <laughs> you hit on twos. You've, yeah, but you've seen me. With an inbuilt re roll. Yeah, but I'm used to playing like the elite grey knights. This is true. Uh, right, two seeker missiles. Two seeker missiles. There we go. Are you is that it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Shall we check? No, uh, I ain't got having to re roll. Each time's model makes uh, a tactic as well to a vehicle. Uh, you can re-roll one hit roll or wound roll. Is that? That's how is it there. Oh, right. the... Well, I thought it was on long strike. Well, I'll re-roll one of those. Excellent. Hit. No wounds. And you've already used your re-roll. That balanced out. I think that balanced out. Not bad. Not, Not bad. bad. That's right. I've still got one more to go. Uh, right. And then into the same squad. If... Into the squad here. Yeah, okay. within 30, to be fair. You definitely are. I'm, all, I'm all, almost at the halfway point. Yeah, you definitely are. Oh, oh my god. Uh, so three hits. Bloody hell, Simon. What's happened to Perhaps you? I should start playing town. <laughs> oh no, there we go. We're back, we're back down. Put linked. Oh. So we roll the two fails. So you wound with everything. Yeah. I pass one save. I pass one uh, no feel no pain, so I lose two more. You heard it here first. Simon said maybe he should start playing town. I told you he's found his faction. He's going to be insisting on it every week now. Is it even? No, you always already give me a lot of crap that I'm actually a fair on in disguise. <laughs> uh, right, where am I now? Command, no, Ghost Kill. Steel back. Legion, fair ons in disguise. Right, so what's he got? He's got a load of guns, hasn't he? You are looking at the wrong one. You need the Riptide. I do, yes. And I shall quote, they all look the same to me. They bloody do, I'm telling you. Uh, right. Man always likes to fit, fit like, you're like fighting Necrons, and it's just like, no, no, that's... Yeah, it's 25, so I've got 15 wounds left, yeah. Right. So what's he got? He's got the Ion... Accelerator. Do you want to overcharge it? Oh, I need to, um, Simon, Yeah. I need to do a hazardous check, I overcharge on Plasma oh, Blast yes. Gun. I'm okay. <laughs> Don't want to do three See, this, is, this is what confused me, it's like one for... One for, Has, one, one, one for hazardous. hazardous. Yeah. Six for blowing yeah. up. Yeah. That's why I got it. Rolling low should always be the negative yeah. result. Yeah. Right. So what's his bad boy got? He's got an ion accelerator. Yeah. Uh, so you can choose to fire it undercharged or overcharged. Yeah, I thought we got overcharged. Okay. Uh, ooh, no overcharge. Ooh. I'm not sure. Pass, pass it here. I'll tell you what it does. Once per battle in your shooting phase and select one range weapon equipped by this model until the end of that phase, this weapon has a devastating wound ability. Off you go. I'm going to do that. You've got a devastating wound to me. Uh, and each time, I right, don't need to do that. Yep, so let's slide it. Let's go balls to the wall. So you hit on threes with this, I think? Threes, yeah. Yeah, okay. Hit on threes. 
It is no recharging and overcharging. <laughs> there are many charges happening here. So it's going to be threes and fives. Threes and fives. Come on, big boy. Okay, one miss. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then you want many sixes here. Yes. And I want you to... I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. Okay, got a six and a wound. So what is the AP? AP is minus three. So I'll be on my five up. And what's the damage? Four. Okay. So I'll pass my five up and take four more damage. Uh, it's going down, boys. Uh, he's got a plasma rifle, twin linked, hit on three, winning on a five, re-rolling. What, what, what? Calm down. What? Out. It's hit, got a plasma rifle. Yeah, twin plasma, twin linked. You hit it on a three. Yeah. Winning on a five. Yeah. And you're re-rolling it. Cool. I've only got one shot. Just one shot. It's a hit, and then wounding on a five. No, try again. Yes. Failed. That's three more damage. Yes. Okay, so we're up to 32 <laughs> wounds. I've only got eight left. You've got your missile drones there as well. Right. Have I? With who? who? With, he has two missile drones. Right, so okay. what do I do? Uh, you'll have to pass me the card, and I'll tell you. Missile ground. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, it's not going to be there. It's going to be on the drone card. Uh, we'll get that. I'll tell you what, why don't we... We'll find the drone card, and then we'll be back in just a second. All right, Simon, you've got the uh, dice here. What do you need? Uh, so it's BS5, so that'll be down to fours. Yeah. Does it still get it? If it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, He's basically equipped with them. Yeah. Uh, strength seven, so it'll be wounding sixes. Uh, fives. Fives? I believe it's from 13. I'm a scout titan. I think even so. Right, let's see. No, there we go. There we go. Winning on a five. Oh! He's got the wound. And I'm okay. It's only AP. Minus two. Minus two, but I... Oh, no, because I... You, you were marked within that ignores cover, so that yeah. will go through. That will do two damage to me. There we go. Boom. Knocked over. Titan's looking pretty unhealthy right now. I've taken 34... Uh, wounds. I've only got six wounds left. Simon, the fun destroyer, is coming. Can I use reinforcements on this? <laughs> okay, can you just imagine? Yes, we get two CP. It comes back. Ah, oh, be good, wouldn't it? In less than three inches apart. Chance uh, would be a fine thing. Right. Chance would be a fine thing. Right, devil fish. The fish of devils. So he's got. Uh, what's he got? An accelerated burst cannon. Yes. But uh, where's it? Is it all going into him? Is it? Yeah, it's the thing you can see. Okay, so uh, you'll be. Are you paired up with something? Yes. The fire warriors? Uh, no, these geezers. Those geezers. Okay. So, because yeah, those two were paired there, and then they're pairing with those two tanks. All right. Uh, so, so he's pairing with the tanks. He's pairing with, with the fire warriors. Yes. Okay. So you'll have uh, the two seeker missiles. Or the accelerator. You do, do, do the two seekers because they're the one that they're the ones that I like to bring it down. Hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. Two hits. Wounding on uh, threes. Two wounds. Whoa. The mighty devil fish. No. No, don't get it. So on a five plus, the titan will go down. No, oh, it's got a couple of wounds left. Got CP. It's up to you, man. You've got, you've still got uh, two more seeker missiles and an accelerated yeah. burst cannon, and you've got your uh, yeah, yeah. other thing. The Titan's got two wounds left. I think. One minute. That's thirty-six. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's got two wounds left. Thirty-eight out of forty wounds. Survive. Survive! This is when you tell me that it gets D6 fucking models back or something. No, no, when it's gone, it's gone. Right, threes and sixes. Threes and sixes, okay. Is this the... Um... Yeah, accelerated burst cannon. Okay, two hits, needing sixes. Nope. No, nothing. Uh, and then we'll do the uh, smart missile systems into... The same infantry squad yeah. as has been have, the case. Does it have two of those or four? It's a, twin, it's a twin smart missile system, and I think it has two... It has two twin smart missile systems. Yeah, so I was just checking. I want to do an extra damage. Yeah, so you get four shots. Nope. That's uh, good times. Big fat whiff. Uh, right, so... 
So they're paired up with him, so he's now... He's going for it? Yeah. He's going to go for it. Two Sigma missiles, and I'm assuming you're putting the little guns into here? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, he will get cover on this one. Because you, you haven't got a mark light in the squad? Yeah. Okay. Whew, might make a difference. One hit from the Seeker Missile. <laughs> it doesn't work! It doesn't work! Do you see fear? Yeah, fucking He's gonna see fear! Why not? Here we go! Ah! Survive! Live! Live! <laughs> It's on two wounds. It's officially degraded. I'll have you know. I'm going to finish off with a fire while you... No! <laughs> Damn your eyes! Uh, right, so they're going to put everything into these. Okay. So uh, so I'll do the twin smart missile systems. So okay. So on fours. Yeah, because it's just direct shooting. <laughs> oh, wait, but you're not paired at this unit. Yeah. So it's minus one to hit. Oh, it's minus one. Right, okay. So hit so on one, fives. One hit. One wound. One pass. And the accelerated burst cannon. Two hits. Yes. One wound. Uh, no AP? Nope, so will be alright. So that's a pass because I got... Oh, should have declared it. I declared it off camera, don't worry guys, I'm not. Yeah. Jib Simon. Um, they... I spent a CP in my turn to have um, inspired command so that they would get take cover because they've got the Castellan with them. There you go. Uh, right, okay. Fire warriors. This would be... I'd, say, I'd be quite worried about this. All it needs is two to go through. You know what my uh, my shit shooting's normally like? It's the Lasgun. This is the Lasgun arrays. Strike team. Strike team. What's your range? 36? Uh, 20. Nah. You're on pulse rifle. All oh, right, 30. 30. So are you within 15? Don't think so. No. No, you're not within 15. So it's 10 shots. You're not paired with anyone, yeah. I don't believe. So you're just hitting on fours. Ten drops hit on fours, winning on sixes. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Oh my god! I could have done with that in the. Uh... <sighs> yeah, I've got to get sixes now. Uh, not like this. Oh, oh just one. <laughs> just one. No, oh, no, oh, I got a wound. I got one wound left. I got one wound left. Uh, have I got a support? You got a guardian drone. Stops me from wounding you. Does it? Yeah. I'll double check you. I'll double check you. Don't worry. Uh, Firework can be equipped with two of the following. Uh, guardian drone. And you could have a gun drone, but I don't think it's going to be in range. It's only a 20 inch range, so it wouldn't be in range. So, um, that's yeah, so no, sadly not, sadly not in range. <gasps> Pathfinders, yes, you have two Pathfinders. <laughs> uh, find out what they've got. They've got last cannons, they've got rail rifles, so it's not too shit. You've got five, got you've got five well. rail rifles, yeah. I should have got a check of the for it. I'm going to do pulse carbines are in range. So your pulse carbines won't be in range uh, from there because that's the rail rifle guy. The pulse carbines don't start till about there. So what's the range of your rail rifles? Rail rifles. Uh, do you want me to find it? I've got a burst cannon, iron rifle, pulse rifle, pulse carbine, rail rifle. Oh, they? Right, rail rifle is 30 inches. Okay, so you're in range of the rail rifles for show. What's your ballistic skill? Uh, four. Damn, I thought it'd be five. No, they it's and it's heavy as well. No, it is it is it is it is, is it? oh, it's sorry. ballistical five. So four with the yeah. With four with heavy, but you've yeah. moved. You move with both units. Yes. So it's it's fives. Simon, I'm clutching this draws. I'm clutching draws, I got one wound left, man. Let's see these buckers over here. Okay, so two shots, hit on fives. Oh he's got a hit! Oh he's got a hit! It's devastating wounds. <laughs> you just need a six to bring it down. Can he do it? No, it does not wound. <sighs> and if you use CP reroll. Yes. Yes. Okay, three more rail rifles. Oh, is it cocked, Simon? 
Oh, he's going to be rolling it like, oh, like a gent in the tray. Get, come on, Simon. <laughs> come on, Simon. Oh, he's gone to it. He's gone to it. He needs two wounds. He needs a wound. One six is all he needs. Oh, it was there. It's one wound. It was there. It's one wound. Sure? Oh, yeah, strength 10. Strength 10. Minus four. One five up. <laughs> one five up between the Titan living and dying on turn one. <laughs> for the Emperor. One minute. For the Emperor. For the Omnisire. Ah, it's not in the tray! It's not in the tray! No! Disaster. We live by the tray. We die by the tray. No! <laughs> Engine kill! And Simon, you have now been officially labelled by the Morning Lord community as the Thunder Destroyer. <laughs> oh, striding forward epically! But naturally, sir, if you stride, no matter how tough you are, if you stride forward into an obliterating uh, crossfire, then no matter how big you are, you will go down. The titan has gone. Will it explode? That's the most ridiculous thing ever. Will it explode? <laughs> Thank God it's not on the tray. No, it does not explode. Unless we're playing by Simon rules. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So the titan has died. This is where I check it. It's got like some rule where it doesn't die or something. But no, I, I don't think it does. So I believe one, the tire... One CP. One CP. Oh, it it comes back alive. No, sadly, the, the king is dead. Long live the king. The titan has died, but it did look epic whilst it was striding forward. Ah. Ridiculous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was still an absolute blast to have it. Tell you what, we'll remove the tired, we'll do the rest of shooting off, cam combat, off camera, and then we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> F in the chat for the Warhound. Too beautiful for this world. But as we always say on the Mordian Glory channel, it always comes down to the infantryman and his rifle. And the infantry have been doing... A damn good job, sir. Uh, two stealth teams. One admittedly only had about half people able to shoot because of the battle suit support systems and falling back. But the other one came barreling in, unleashed a lot of burst cannon fire, and well, most most of the squad's still there. To be honest, you're, you're pointing. I feel like you forgot something. I'm going to do the uh, move, shoot, move. You can move, shoot, move. That's okay. Spend your CP. Uh, so Simon's going to move, shoot, move whilst he's doing that. So it's, uh, yeah, it's not, not too shabby at all. So uh, good, very, obviously very good uh, turn for the Tau. Uh, you know, and obviously, you know, a bit of a shame the Titan didn't get to do a bit more. But if there's any faction that can take out a Titan in one go, it is going to be, it is going to be the Tau Empire. I'm going to say Grey Knights, sir. <laughs> Chance to be a fine thing. Um, so we're going to go over to the guard turn two now. Um, I think, interestingly, we're actually going to be in a half decent position because hopefully we'll be able to mop those guys up, take out the devil fish as well. And we might even start doing some. Uh, my, I reckon we'll get those pathfinders and we'll get those pathfinders as well uh, with between our artillery and our infantry squads. So I think we're going to be in uh, an all, we're going to be in an all right position. Uh, it just depends on how long we can hold on for. Remember, the uh, the towel do have a ghost kill and a big crisis blob uh, in reserve, so it's going to be tricky. But I think with some orders and some other crazy shenanigans, we might be able to uh, to make some things happen. So let's go over to guard turn. You're moving things back. Two CP. Let's go over to God. <laughs> turn two. Beginning of God, turn two, we drew our cards and we got investigate signals and bring it down. And we were like, you know what? We're going to give that a go. We're going to give that a cheeky go. Bring it down. There is a devil fish here that is on a mere uh, seven wounds. We've got a whole bunch of stuff that uh, should be able to shoot that. We've got a couple of lads cans which have moved over here with take aim. A couple of crack rockets which can see past the corner of the room to the bum of the devilfish there with take aim. 
with it being Creed Squads, it's take aim and also move, 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 which I forgot to take advantage of that last turn, but it didn't really come up, so that's all right. Um, and then uh, this squad has stayed completely still, and as they're in the ruin, they can also have a good blast as well. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get that devil fish and maybe also follow up with some shooty shooty on the old stealthy stealthy. Um, the only unit that didn't go forward was this unit, which went back to investigate the signal. I did um and ah about that, but I figured, look, I'm just going to get some points. See what points I can get. There we go. Um, so we'll go into the... So I've at least got two points, investigate signals this turn. Let's see if we can do some other good stuff. So we're going to start off with... Hmm. Humdy, 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 hum. Let's start with this unit here. Now, one of the sergeants is going to shoot. Ooh, I've got to be, oh, I think what I want, I think I want fields of fire on him for like the crack rockets and the last cannons and stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is, um, oh, these guys, sorry, I haven't moved this squad. They're going to move forward. Oh no, yeah, no, they're going to move forward. I'd rather have them, the more las guns than the, uh, the lethal hits as it were there we go so we'll move them forward there and get rid of this movement tray which we don't need now so uh one of the sergeants is going to put his last pistol over there because you've been targeted by an infantry unit i can then use oh no i'm being a fool i'm being a foolish fool i know i, I keep wanting to use fields of fire but i keep remembering that creed has to be within 12 inches of the units so, right it's going to have to be the mortars so with that in mind what we're going to do is uh we're just going to do this uh the mortars are gonna i'm gonna need the mortars to go after the the pathfinders no we're just going to do this squad here and it's going to fire its las cannons uh and it, uh, it into the into the devil fish and then everything else is going to go into these stealth suits here so a couple of apologies for the uh messing around there guys i just had to remember that i was making i had to make sure i was getting my stratagems right i'm shaken i'm shaken after the loss of kevin all right couple of las cannons here uh, one hit and we're doing on a three it is a big old wound uh, minus two because of cover so you'll be on a five up Ooh, not on the tray no and then damage six damage not too shabby at all down to one wound uh, a couple of melter guns into the stealth teams hitting on uh, fours because plus one minus one uh, one hit and one wound and ap minus four but you're in cover so you'll be uh, on a six up hey you get it uh and then we've got a whole bunch of las guns which i'm going to do all the las guns off camera back in just a moment so after the las guns and las pistols and everything from this unit had shot we did a wound to the stealth team uh next up we're going to have the uh two crack rockets Going into the devil fish over here. Uh, looking for fours to hit. Um, yep. We take aim. Ooh, two hits. Nice. Do that again, though. Ooh, got a wound. And it'll be AP minus two. No. Definitely goes through. Uh, does not explode. So we got, a, we got a devil fish. The mighty devil fish has gone down. The devil fish, which almost was basically responsible for... Uh, <laughs> for killing the titan it, they, it got it got that extra missile through to uh which i think and then the pathfinders finished it off um all right so hey at least we've cleared our cards this turn so in terms of other shooting now it actually becomes kind of uh straightforward uh what we're going to do is we're going to shoot everything from this unit yep and we're going to go after the injured squad and we'll do it off camera because we're going to do all the last guns and stuff first, try and chip you off. And then we'll come back with the, uh, well, we'll come back after the whole squad, but we'll do the autocans after that. Oh. All right. And we're back. We got a little bit carried away off camera, but we reined ourselves in just before the really exciting stuff. So I remembered the grenade stratagem and I did that and I got five mortal wounds did really, really well. And then uh, the rest of the firepower was able to bring this guy down to just one wound. So one of the stealth teams essentially wiped out, which is good. Cheeky Bayonet Charge might just finish him off. Uh, and then we also remembered that 
I had other shooting from the squad. Sure, the crack rockets went off, but I had other shooting from the squad. So uh, we did that into the Pathfinders and was actually able to kill three of them with the las guns and the and the frag grenade launchers. Um, and then that meant I could use Creed's fields of fire ability. So now they've got extra AP on them. And what I'm going to do now is hit them with the mortar team with take aim. So we'll see uh, how many shots do we get. It's not bad. That is uh, 12 plus blast is 15. All right. Who's this into? It's the mortars into your pathfinders, the ones that killed my titan. Yeah. Revenge for Kevin. <laughs> Revenge for Kevin. That's what we're going for. All right. These Tau from, from henceforth will be known as Kevin's Bane. <laughs> there we go. Uh, one auto, and then an absolute boatload of misses. Uh, but no, I mean, yeah, we got, I mean, what about half? Just over half. Uh, and then wounding on threes. Uh, so that's four more, four wounds in total, in, I should say. Don't want to bring the tray over here. There we go. Uh, that's three dead. I didn't even need my fields of fire, but that's oh, three dead. All right, and then I'm feeling, how many you got left in there? Four. You've got four left, three and then three. So yeah, you've got four left. Uh, I'm gonna hit you with the, I'm gonna hit you with the Basilisk. Number of shots, eight. You're doing well on your shots. Yeah, I think, I feel like I might have messed up my Basilisk last turn and was hitting it on threes when I should have been hitting on fours. I'll go back and check, and if uh, if I did, we might add a guy back into the Pathfinder unit just to be just to be safe. But I'll check the footage afterwards, and we'll do that off camera. Uh, hitting on fours, uh, three auto wounds, two misses, and two more wounds. So that's five runes. Uh, AP minus three, AP minus two because of cover. Um, they're all gone, even with being in cover. Yeah, they're all gone. Nice. Kevin has been avenged! There we go. There we go. You know what's funny? In all seriousness, it's a... I don't think Kevin would have died if free upgrades weren't a thing. Because there's no way you would have spent all your points on fucking free, on hunter killer missiles. No. And there's no way you would have taken iron rifles on unit whose primary job is to spot for... Uh, rail rifles. Yeah. It's a spot for people. No way, Jose. Damn you, GW! <laughs> Damn your free upgrades. I can't wait for Old World to come. Because you pay for your upgrades in that game like a good, honest wargaming system. <laughs> like heresy. Like heresy, indeed. So we've got bring it down, we've got investigate signals. We'll put those over there um, for now. But we do have one last thing we need to do. A glorious charge. And we're actually going to charge uh, both of these units to try and uh, tie her up and cause you some uh, cause you some pain. Um, so we'll get, we might even charge this unit in as well. Who knows? We'll give it a go. So these guys are going to charge both units. Uh, I don't think they can really fail. <laughs> not, with not with a double six. So if you, if I can base, I have to base. That shouldn't realistically be a problem because I'm going to go like this into the gap there, into the gap there. And then these guys will go around to like here. Just got to try and, uh, probably base like like that as it were everyone will get within engagement range as it were he's fallen off there and these guys are going to try and go around oh, he's going to go around to there go around to there go around to there go around to there now i might have to go in all fairness there and then there and then you can base a drone car, oh, they're not model, are they? They're not really a model, no. So that actually high charge or has scuppered me slightly. I wonder if there's a way I can jimmy jimmy it. I don't think there is, no, because obviously if I can base, I have to try and base. So, because uh, and that's made my charge here probably a, like an, maybe an extra inch. But let's see if we, we'll roll the dice, see what we get. Eight. See, I don't think I'm going to be within eight. It would have been good to have that the other way around. I don't think I'm within nine, am I? Well, if, if we're not counting that, no. Uh, no. Ooh, that's with an eight, so I need to be with a nine for engagement. Whoa. Come on, lads. Give them the beads. I think it might be all right, actually. Give them the beads. No. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, it depends on which way you charge, because you know. 
I only have to get within engagement. So if I can get within, measure an inch from the guy. Which I just want measure an inch from this guy. Okay. So if I can get to the back end of that dice, I will be uh, within it with eight inches. If that's eight inches away from the front of my heavy weapon team base, from the back end of the, so that's the front end of the dice, go back a bit. No, I'm not in. No, there we sure. go. Just out, unfortunately. Very, very slightly. Very slightly, but tis the way, tis the season. Uh, all right, so what we're going to do is um, uh, we are going to put this guy's power fist into here, and then we're going to put one, two, ooh, he is potential. Oh, no, because you're just going to drop down here for engage anyway. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. So, um, we're going to put his power fist into here because I can do it off this base here. And then we'll put one, two, three, four guardsmen into here. And then we'll put everyone else into the, into the big squad. So, the four, the three guardsmen and the sergeant going into the lone uh, one with shell suit. Um, that will be uh, four hits with sustained hits from the Castellum. Uh, so, it's a, it's a lone wound, sir. Three up save? Yes! They don't like Upham, sir! They don't like Upham! And then we've got the... Uh, I mean, let's be clear. I am so boned in this game. I am playing a 2,000-point game with 900 points. <laughs> yeah. I just got to see... How, um, for me, I'm going to see how long I can last, basically, and if I can make you work for it. There's I've very... got a lot of anti-tank shots, so now that's... Uh, they've done the job, but it's going to be... Yeah. I'm going to absolutely obliterate a guardsman a turn now. <laughs> uh, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven regular attacks. But I'll do the power fist guy first. Uh, he's got two hits. He's got a wound. If you could be so kind as to roll a five up save, sir. He passes it. Uh, and then uh, we've got the regular bayonet. So that is seven. And we need four more. Ooh, no, not many. So uh, it's more about tagging them so that they'll have to fall back. And the amount of firepower they can bring to bear will be significantly less. Just a cheeky wound, sir. Can we get it through? No. That's all right. We have We have literally driven them from the field, as it were. So... That I believe is the end of uh, of my turn. So um, I have scored. Bring it down, and I got uh, four points for that. I believe. Yep, uh, two points plus one plus one for being a tactical, um, and you get so one victory point. Sorry, uh, it's definitely four, but I'll do it on the app. And then if that's your signals, I got for two. All right. Oh, you need to do your tax back, don't you? Yes. Of course, of course. Thanks. One, One, two, two. a magic two. I was going to say, I got very excited now about my attack back. A wound. A wound. Uh, I do take it. I don't have take cover on me this time. I do take it. There we go. All right. There we go. In case you're wondering where the Titan's gone, we've put it back on the shelf because the cats kept trying to jump on it. <laughs> Well, they were they kept coming into the room getting all excited. All right, well, that is the end of guard turn two. We've scored some points. Let's see what we can do going into Tau turn two. Upon seeing the Titan fall, the Tau commander, with a wry smirk upon his face, turns to his subaltern and says, Ah, Titan indeed! A titanic, titanic example of arrogance. A titanic example of stupidity. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. And then he whispers a command in Tao into his wrist-mounted communicator. And he deploys his own elegant counterstroke. Long story short, <laughs> Simon Broyes was in. <laughs> I thought that was quite good that night, too, oh, getting, so getting people here. Yeah, like that, yeah, yeah not, too, that. not too shabby. So, Simon, you brought your reserves in here? Yes. You brought Ghost Kill in here? Yes. Did you not feel like you had enough to win? <laughs> well, I've got a, a lot of uh, anti tank shots with not a lot of tank to shoot at, so uh, this is I, true. I need as many of them as I can get. This is true, this is true. Um, and you've deployed your firewalls out here for a point blank barrage, potentially. Yeah. And you've fallen back your stealth suits here so that some of them can. 
the ones that can fall back and shoot yeah. can uh, observe from their lofty perch. Yes. Excellent. Uh, what cars did you draw, sir? Uh, we got Defense Stronghold and a Captain Gage on all fronts. Well, both of those are eminently doable. Yes. Excellent. You moved a few of your tanks forward as well, so there's some smart missiling that can happen uh, here. Two units, that's all. I think. Excellent, excellent. All right. If well, needed. If needed, if needed. Uh, and you only held one object at the beginning of the turn, so you just got five primary. Yes. Okay. So, uh, do you know where you want to start? Uh, yes, let's start with this unit. Okay. They're going to be guided by these guys. And where are you going to guide? They're going to guide into the mortars. You're going to guide into the mortars because you said off camera that you're actually, even though there's only a smattering of guard and direct fire, it's actually deleting one of your squads a turn. And if that keeps happening, you're going to run out of bodies and the guard might even actually pull something off with the OC game. Yeah, you'll, with the OC you'll, you'll game. have 160 OC potentially and I'll yeah. have five. Not. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, to be clear, if you guide over here, yeah. It'll be plus one to hit over here, but it'll be minus one to hit here. That's fine. Does that fit in with your plans? Uh, yeah, because I don't really want to kill them. No, you want to bend them, not break them. Yes. All right, much. because if, I, if you destroy them, reinforcements will kick in. Yeah. Okay, so three missile pods are in range uh, over here. So that will be six shots. You'll be hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Uh, yes. Because you'll get plus yeah. basic skill and you're led by a commander. Uh, okay, there's a re-roll of one there, sir. Uh, okay, so that's four hits, and then wounding on twos. Uh, excellent, and then uh, it's AP minus one. I definitely don't get cover from there, so I need double six here. No, so even with a valiant effort, with them being two damage each, the mortar teams are gone. Uh, I mean, I do, I do like mortars, and they do do well, but the moment someone spots them, they die. Whenever someone asks me, what heavy weapons should I put in my morph, in my in my heavy weapon teams? I'm, and they're like, oh, should I put last cans? I'm like, never, ever, ever. No, no. The moment you poke them out, they die. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, these infantry squads can have direct fire weapons. Heavy weapons squads should get uh, should get indirect fire weapons. Uh, other shooting. So you've got three more missile pods into the squad. Yep. So uh, these will now be hitting on fives. Fives. Yeah. It's a big difference. Uh, a mighty uh, nothing. A couple of ones. Oh, one hit. One hit. A good hit, sir. Uh, it is a wound. Uh, minus one. Uh, technically behind cover because I've got my yeah. sneaky man, the Tim special. Oh, and he's made it. Okay, okay, okay. So we've got some plasma here. Um, oh, he's got four hits with a reroll. Okay, four hits. Uh, and then twos. Uh, uh, twos. Ooh, double one. So two guys will just die. Pop, pop. All right. And then we've got some fusion, six fusion. Uh, oh, he's done very well here. Take that. Take that, yes. Uh, four more guys are gonna die. If anyone's wondering why I'm not rolling, oh, roll the damage on them because of the feel no pain. Uh, okay, so there's a couple of chances. So there was a one, a two, a three, and a six. Yes. So the one, no. The two, no. And then the three and the six, I'm not gonna bother with. <laughs> so that'll be four more dead. One, two, three. And I think we'll go for... Uh, we'll have to go for a sergeant so we can keep coherency. Yeah, there we go. And we've got the commander. And we've got the commander. So he's All right. the burst cannon. He has the burst cannon, indeed. So he'll be on fours. Indeed. Uh, yeah. Can he re -roll yes, he can reroll his own one because he's leading a unit. Excellent. Uh, threes. Threes. Uh, that's three, four wounds, four even. Wounds, yeah. Oh, uh, I've lost three more guys, but have I though? No, I've only lost one. Oh, yeah, nice. Huzzah! Huzzah, men! Huzzah! <laughs> uh, so I think I can I can actually lose this rifle now because they can be in coherency off him. Yeah, so he's the linchpin now. Okay. So what else? You got the fusion blaster. He's got the uh, cyclic ion blaster. Ooh. Can I recharge that? But it might hurt him. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, so the number of shots is uh, three, three. I think. Yeah. Uh, three hits. Uh, no, minus one. Oh, yes, minus one. Two hits. Two, two wounds. wounds, AP. Uh, minus one, one damage. No. Yes. Ooh, one damage. And then what's it? Is this a plasma after this? Plasma, yeah. It's a risky manoeuvre. I'm going... No, I'm going to lose the metal gun. 
And there is the amalgam. Okay. Okay, go for the plasma. Nope. It's a mess. I should have gone for the uh, other um, thing. Is he, oh, yeah, he's still in coherence. He's still in coherence. There yeah. we go. Um, all right, that's that squad there. Where are you going next? Uh, let us go. So what have they got left? One. Two last cannons, a melter, a power sword, and a, and then a command squad as part of the right. unit. Let's so uh, they spotted. He is going to spot them for him. Okay, okay, off you go. Uh, that's right. Yeah. So that is old. So he's got a rail cannon. Long strike. Let's do the. Let's start off. Th that's regular strike. Oh yeah, that's long strike. Yeah. 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 Uh, regular strike. <laughs> he hasn't got the burst cannon on the front. That's just uh, from my brother modelled it. He wanted to be able to use it as both a double fish and a thing, and it was modelled uh, approximately twenty years ago before magnets were widespread. Really? Well, in the hobby, widespread. Oh, well, just right. That's that. Let me get the stuff. If you uh, is I'm ahead. I'm ahead. You've got right. it. Cool. Right, so, uh, Railgun, hitting on threes. You stay still? No, I've moved. Is it threes basic? Uh, it's four, fours down to threes. Because you spotted. Spotted, yeah. spotted cool. It's Wait. a hit. Uh, I think it might be a two. I think I think <laughs> it might be. <laughs> uh, Is it against a vehicle? Do you get the re-roll if it's not against a vehicle? No. Uh, each time it's started, it's still to shoot. You can re-roll, hit one hit roll, or re-roll one wound roll. Regardless. Yes. Okay, off you go then. Okay, yeah, you kill a guy. <laughs> uh, what else has he got? Seeker missiles, isn't it? Actually, you know what? I'm going to go for the... Because uh, it's all fires at the same... No, you know, no, no. Melter Man. Melter Man goes now. Yeah, it's all part of the so plan. It's railgun, and he's just got the... Uh, Seeker missile, no, not seeker missiles, the uh, twin smart missile systems. Yeah. There? So you've got two of those, yeah? Yeah, so we'll have four shots. No, six shots. Let me just check the back of it. It's slightly different, him and the devil fish. Um, so he has uh, two twin smart missile systems. So, uh, yeah, oh, okay, cool. So, so we get six shots. Yeah. Oh, so his is slightly better than the devil fish's ones. So hitting on threes? Yes. Okay, few twos, few twos, few twos, few twos. Threes. Oh. Ooh, twin linked. Ooh. There we go. These are five ups. And then a feel no pain. No. One guy's going to die. Mm, I could take a guy from the command squad. As crazy as it sounds. Depends on if I want them to die or not. I feel like I probably need them to die so I can use reinforcements. But realistically, what else is going to shoot at them? Just the devil fish? Yeah. He's hitting on fours. I'm going to take I'm going to take the Master Vox. I don't think the devil fish will kill them. He's got four shots plus his burst cannon hitting on fours. So I think it, I think I'm going to take the guy from the command because he's not got character. And then, well, he's got character. He's a fantastic character, but uh, he's not got. He's not got the. Uh, he's part of the, essentially part of the bodyguard. So yeah, there we go. That's a trick that uh, I learned. Fair enough. From playing a Votan player with the ecogs. Oh, right. There you go. Exciting. Uh, right. So, but it wasn't at the time because I absolutely smacked the shit out of his unit with damage three manticores, and he just took it on. Instead of losing three exosuit guys, he lost three bloody. Servo skulls essentially, it was most vexing. <laughs> uh, Devil Fish go next, I yeah, imagine. Into them, so he's got the smart missiles, so that's four hitting on uh, fours. fours. Yeah, oh. okay, two hits, that's pretty standard. Pretty standard with a twin linked, uh, four and a two, it's yeah, twin linked, so one, two, two, and uh, no, and no, so two more are gonna die. It all happens at the same time, right? So yeah. he's going to go, and I can't let the colours fall. It's not allowed, is it? Oh, one wound on the last cannon. And it's the burst cannon, you say, yeah? It's the accelerator burst cannon. So fours. Yeah. Oh, bugger. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll get it in a second. They all hit. Twos. Twos. 
Uh, and then this will be, still happens at the same time, doesn't it? So it'll be cover for fours and then feel no pain. No, so one more to the last cannon guy goes. Right. So that was the right call because you wouldn't have wiped the unit out yeah. and I wouldn't have got the chance to use reinforcements. That's absolutely fine. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You so say we all. It's kind of good for me, good for you kind of thing. Um, all right, so what are you thinking next? I'm thinking... I might change things very slightly on my end. It won't make a difference in terms of the results that came in. What I'll do is I'll lose the melter gun guy first because I think that unit's just going to stay still next turn. Yeah. So I'll use, lose the melter guy first and then I'll have the one wound. So what would have happened is lose the melter guy first, fail a wound then, and that would be my last cannon on one wound. Right. There's a slight switch around, but no, don't worry. No jibbing has happened here, gentlemen. Um, okay, anything, what have we got next? So these guys are going to put their two shots into them as well. Two burst cannons. Yeah. Okay, so you've got the uh, two burst cannons hitting on fours. They're eight shots. Eight shots into Right, so I'm going to say, let me just work Ooh. out what I have got into them. So you've got two burst cannons yeah. and two gun drones. Yeah. That'll be eight shots hitting on fours, yeah. four shots hitting on uh, fives. They're all strength five, yeah. all AP nothing, but the ones that hit on fives yeah. are twin linked, so we're all wounds. And I've got, you've got four wounds left on that. I've got four wounds left on that. If you wipe them out, I'll get reinforcements. I'm gonna do the gun drones into these, the other geezers into them. Okay, you're trying to just whittle me down to the very... I want to get rid of one of the last cannons. Just want to get rid of one lads cannon. All right, here so, we go. So the, the ones that are hitting... So the ones hitting on fives are twin linked, you say? Yes. yes. And they've got eight shots? No, they've got four shots. Four shots, right. So I'm going to do an eight, which will be hitting on four. Fours, four, not twin yes. Right, I'll do the eight into the, and fours into them. And okay. Into them. Okay. So this is the eight first. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, and then threes. Threes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't. I'd be very lucky to kill you at this point. <laughs> uh, you might do. You might do. No. Yeah, Pearl couldn't get much three. better. Couldn't get much better. So three. Five so ups. Uh, three five ups. No. Uh, ooh, but feel no pain. One. No. So you get one of the last cannons. Right, I'm quite happy with that. There we go. Even if I had tried to jimmy it where I definitely lost the squad, I wouldn't do because um, there's still the sergeant left at this point. Uh, and then the four into these guys. Yeah. Two hits. We roll both. Two wounds. Uh, one goes down. Yeah. Just the one. All right. Right, that's actually worked rather quite well. Yes, very good. They'll come back at some point, Simon. You're going to have to deal with them. What have we got? What are we? We'll have to kill them first. Is it basically just this blob then that you've got left to shoot? What have you got? So, what are you that thinking? Blobs to shoot. Yeah. He's to shoot. And he's to shoot. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll do all of that off camera because it's been a long turn and we'll be back at the end of it. Because I don't think you're doing any charges, are you? No. All right, so that'll be that. My faith is my shield! The cry goes up from the grizzled veteran sergeants. See, Simon, these models are made of pewter, so they're harder to kill. That's how it works. Simon unleashed a point-blank ambush, literally. He used a stratagem, that's called point-blank ambush. And it gave him extra AP, and he had 20 shots hit on threes because the ghost kill spotted for the, uh, for the firewalls, and he killed three dudes. In total. Three dudes? Two dudes? It wasn't even that, was it? It wasn't many. Two dudes! I I did okay on the saves. If you cut, Do you know what saved me? Defense of Humanity. Yeah. I was on an objective. I got cover. I think I was getting cover anyway, to be fair. But I definitely had cover beyond any reasonable doubt. So I was on a four-up save, went back to a five-up, uh, and then... Single feel no pain. Stopped a couple as well. So only two guys went down. Um... Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty brutal. And then the ghost kill didn't do much to write home about. And then Long Strike absolutely obliterated one guardsman. Actually, no, he didn't absolutely obliterate a guardsman. No. The rail cannon failed to wound with a reroll, which was hilarious. And then the smart missile system killed a dude. <laughs> nice. So that is the end of uh, of Tau turn two. Uh, I think not losing this unit here is sort of a blessing and a curse because 
it's still around and it's got a las cannon and that might hurt but at the same time i would have quite liked to have 20 guys back yes and just 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 for the bulk just for the bulk as it were but hey we'll see going into guard turn three i think we only have one choice Fix bayonets. <laughs> With the god machine laid low, his men dying all around him, and a ominous silence coming from his mortar pit, Mead, Mordy and Creed, <laughs> knows that the situation is desperate. Lesser regiments, lesser factions would break and run in the face of overwhelming odds. But a grim demeanour comes over the Mordians. And the rallying cry goes up across the line. Fix bayonets! Be ready for blood! Drive them, men! Drive them! And the guard marches forward. I'm really getting into this, by the way. Yeah, so, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, say. I think we should do some more. This is quite... I think it's adding something. Let us know what you think. Is it wanky or is it cool? <laughs> Let us know down in the comment section. <laughs> At least you're not singing. The hoo's alive! <laughs> I think I just heard a cat yowl downstairs. <laughs> oh. So, long story short, we moved forward. If in doubt, forward. So that scene in, uh, I think it's the Arm of Contempt, Gaunt's Ghost, but where there's like, forward. Forward. This guard unit, which moved forward and then moved back to investigate the signals, has moved forward once again and is getting ready to unleash death and charge the ghost kill. Yes, it can fall back and shoot. No, I don't care. We are going to charge it. We are going to bring it down. Creed ordered his unit to take aim and also to move, move, move. Now, the reason we did the move and move is we've abandoned the home objective. We've given it up. But we wanted to get as many people far forward as possible so that uh, we could then uh, we could then get lots of attacks on the firewalls. The plan being that we're going to uh, shoot a lot of stuff and then finish whatever's left off in combat. Uh, over here, I was originally going to uh, stay still and shoot a las cannon with uh, take aim and heavy into uh, this hammerhead here, but then I drew my cards and I got cleansed. And so I was like, ha Simon, you should have wiped them out. And I moved, I, uh, I passed my Battleshock test and then I moved, moved, moved. It's these Mordians, you know, they don't break easy. And then uh, I moved, moved over to here and I was able to cleanse this objective. And then the Castellan, Lord Solar Makaris, the OG Lord Solar, told his unit to fix Bayonets. They are going to shoot up some fire warriors and try and charge what is left over. And the cool thing is, is that I'm actually still on two objectives. And hopefully if I get this charge off, I will be on three objectives. Mm. Madness. But it shall be done. Um, so that's my movement. My cars, by the way, were cleanse and overwhelming force. So if I can kill these fire warriors, we're going to have a good time. Uh, so let us do, let us, let us talk on the matter of charging and shooting. Let us start with this unit over here. They've got a missile launcher, a LAS cannon, and a crack grenade launcher. They're gonna go going to go into genuine long strike. So we've got a, a, a LAS cannon hitting on a five. Nope. Missile launcher hitting on a five. Nope. And a grenade launcher hitting on a four. No, that was easy. Um, <laughs> hopefully that's all the... Uh, I'm gonna put those dice to one side for a second. Um, so now... We're going to go over here and we're going to put our missile launchers and grenade launchers into uh, this hammerhead here. And then we're going to put everything else into the fire warriors. So uh, we've got two missile launchers hitting on fours. No. Oh dear. I was hoping for quite a glorious turn here. It might be a bit of a damp squib. Uh, a couple of crack grenades. Yes. Two hits. A couple of crack grenades. Yes, a wound, a mighty wound on your hammerhead, sir. You have failed it. Whoa. One damage. Brilliant. All right. Uh, and then we're going to shoot um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13 las guns and two las pistols into the fire warriors so because you know i've been very very fluffy this game i've not even said well if it's it, it can be a pass pistol no nope. if it's a last pistol, it's a last pistol today we're sticking true to the og mordians so it was 13 las guns so i'll have to do uh this twice so here's the first huh, first wave uh, hitting on uh threes into the fire warriors Oh my god, sir. My god, they don't, it's, this is a point blank ambush, Simon. <laughs> this is a point blank ambush. Um, it won't matter. I was thinking Creed gets free fields of fire, but there's nothing that could have supported fire. These guys can't see past the corner of the ruin into the fire warriors uh, from here. So uh, I don't think so, anyway. I don't think so. Um, Actually, I better double check. Do we have the laser or do you have a tape measure? Uh, tape measure. Can you just see if there's anyone from here that could see across? Because it, it it doesn't matter in terms of the the sequence. Uh, yeah, there's a, yeah, yeah, definitely. So we'll just say we'll go back and do it later off, off camera. But these guys would have shot their lads guns over here. Ah, oh, but they're not within twelve inches of Creed. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter. We've done it right. Okay. So um, those are my hits. So now we need to roll to wound. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six wounds uh, from the first volley. And then we've got eight, uh, 12. Just remember, just remember six, Simon, if you can. Six. six. And then we've got the second volley. Uh, ooh, sugar, not as many uh, not as many hits. I messed around too much. Dice gods have, have punished me. Um, and then wounding on fours. Uh, just another two. So eight wounds from the last guns on the Fire Warriors. And you are in cover there. We're both in the cover. So it'll be eight three-ups. Uh, didn't manage to bring three of them down. That's okay. Got a uh, couple of Laz pistols. Uh, two hits. Uh, a wound, sir. Three up safe, please. You've passed it. <laughs> Laz pistol doesn't do anything. Uh, and we've got a plasma gun here. We won't overcharge it. That's going to go into... The Fire Warriors, uh, two hits, uh, one wound, A minus two, nope, got one, uh, plasma pistol from the officer, no overcharging, uh, hits, wounds, uh, that'll be five up, nope, get one more, uh, and then we've got Creed, who actually has some pretty good, uh, pretty good weapons, do you have the app there, could you search for Creed, I think it's four shots hitting on twos. Strength 5, AP minus 2, 2 damage, but I'm just going to warm them up nicely in my hand here. <laughs> Give it a good old warm. Because it's duty and vengeance, and they're like two mega hotshot lads pistols. Uh, range weapons. Uh, four, four attacks, hitting on three, strength 5, minus 2, 1 damage. 1 damage, okay. So hit on twos because I take aim. Uh, hit with everything. Wounding on threes. Three wounds. Eight minus two, put you on five ups. Uh, Creed brings two down, like gunslinging, like psh, psh, takes two out. Just three fire warriors left. Drive them, men. All right, so they've been. Um, we won't worry about their, their last guns or anything because it, it wouldn't have made a difference and I forgot to do it. I've got to be fair here. Uh, so it's just over here now. Um, so we're going to put. Hmm. No, we mm, um, 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 we're going to shoot the crap out of the fire warriors, and then charge what's left over. That's the plan. Yes, yeah, stick to the plan. So uh, they these guys have got fixed bayonets, so uh, it's going to be only hitting on fives with the auto cannons and the shooting and and whatnot. So uh, auto cannons, uh, one hit, but it is a sustained hit. One wound, uh, AP minus one, five up. Ooh, you tank the autocannon shell to the chest. Uh, two uh, frag grenades. Ooh, that'll be ten shots because it's three each and blast. Uh, there's one. There's two. Uh, ten shots hitting on fours. Miss, 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 miss. Sustained, sustained. Winning on threes. Frag grenades are going to strength four in... Uh, 10th edition. That'll be five wounds at no AP. Five four ups. You get sustained on the grenade. Uh, the Castellan gives it to me. Oh, nice. 
It's quite good for 45 points. We've killed one. We've killed one, man. Huzzah, man. Huzzah. Uh, and then we've got... We've got how many las guns in there left? One, two, three las guns and a couple of las pistols. All right. Uh, one, two, three las guns, a couple of las pistols. Oh, miss, miss, miss. Sustained. That's quite a nice buff, that. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you what's really cool. The field ordnance batteries. Mm. Um, they get lethal hits just for being guard and staying yeah. still. If you then order them, they get sustained hits on top of that. Nice. So you can just absolutely... But they're only D6 shots per gun, but then you get two guns, and each gun gets blasts. So when so they're shooting at their entire... Yeah, yeah. When they're shooting at their intended target, and suddenly they're like... If they're shooting firewalls, like D6 plus two, so it's 2D6 plus four, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they, they, can, they can rack up. Um, this was hits. This is wounds. Yeah. Two. One dead. Oh, I feel like I might have rolled to wound twice. But I don't remember. We'll check it afterwards. Don't worry about it. Um, I've made you roll six saves so far. We can always... Uh, we'll check it off camera. It's not a problem. Uh, and then we've got a plasma pistol. Hits. Wounds. On a six up save. Ah, damn your eyes. Sir. <laughs> Gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. They don't like it open, boys. They don't like it up. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, um, speaking of they don't like it up, um, let us uh, bombard with our basilisk. Ooh. Now, where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? Oh, the basilisk is going to do a direct shot into them. Yeah. Because it'll be hitting on threes. Okay, number of shots. <sighs> Six. Plus three. Plus blast yeah. ten. <laughs> Main gun range fire. Not on the tray. Miss, miss, miss. What stuff is of a crisis suit? Uh, Eighteen. That would be uh, most vexing. <laughs> oh man, I didn't even got any sixes. I tell you what, I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Top is five. I'm gonna check see if I got any sixes. Yeah. And I'm gonna check about that wounding thing over there. And then we'll be back in a second. So we double checked. I didn't roll any sixes. And I hadn't already rolled to wound with the uh, previous unit. So now we're wounding the Christ suits on threes. Ooh, I've kind of flubbed it there. Uh, so that will be four wounds, sir. Uh, this will be AP minus two. But you're going to be uh, in the... Ooh! You're not entirely in the forest. And I'm not shooting through the forest. So I actually would get, uh, it, you won't get cover there. Right, okay. So it's going to be, um, it's going to be minus two. So it's going to be uh, three ups go to five ups, I believe. Three, yeah. Yeah, so four, four, sorry. Um, we kill one suit because it's uh, uh, damage to a piece. And those guys are going to be um, uh, minus two move. And advance and charge. Not that it matters, but... I don't know. It's going to be... That's... Might have, that might cause you a tissue. Yeah. Well, going to cause you another tissue. Got a heavy bolter on this bad boy. And he's hit you one time. Mm -hmm. He's not wounded you. But he does have a hunter killer missile as well. See, see, I... Come on. Come on, hunter killer. Here we go. It's a hit. Come on, hunter killer. It's a wound. Oh, you were on a four up save before, but you rolled three, three... Um, what did you roll on your saves? It was three threes, wasn't it? And a six. Yeah. Yeah, so it didn't matter. You want a four-pin vulnerable save. Don't worry. We didn't We didn't miss it. Uh, that goes through. I need a six here to a splat one. Four, I'll take it. Four will do. So four on the door over here. I should put my autocannons back this way. I didn't even think about it. Didn't even occur to me to, to do it, but that is, that is life. Uh, charges. Them into them. Yep, it's not a fucking big charge, but it'll do with consolidation. So they got a three. Uh, charge the ghost kill. Oh, fucking hellfire. Um, I'm going to have to uh, re-roll that because uh, I want to deny you uh, some primary points next turn. That'll do. That's a temp. And then I'm going to charge the fire warriors 
and the stealth team. How far away am I from the stealth team? Oh, I'm right next to it. Yeah, I'll charge both again for locking and annoying purposes. Yeah, there you go. Five. Uh, five in total. So what we'll do is we will move them in, do the attacks off camera, because there's going to be lots and lots of bayonets and stuff, and then we'll be back at the end of the guard turn. Show them steel! Show them contempt! Drive them, men! The clash of bayonet on, I presume, Spork. I don't know what the tile using close combat. Some kind of plastic or rubber spatula, probably. Uh, goes up across the line, and we've actually... We've actually driven them somewhat. It's, it is true what the Commissars say. All you need is a bayonet with some guts behind it. Over here, we were able to bring down the Fire Warriors to just three survivors. Uh, unfortunately, we did take a battering uh, back in combat because of the stealth teams. And they've. I think this, these guys have popped down here, haven't they? Because yeah. um, the stealth teams, they do get... Uh, two attacks each and they actually did all right so we lost about four guards and back in return but it's all right we i can't believe this infantry squad like started off over here and it successfully shot and bayonet charged um a stealth team death and now it's gone after some fire warriors it's, it's still annoying the crap out of these stealth team guys as well i think they are going to go down soon but they've had one hell of a push and then in the center the three remaining fire warriors were uh to, to creed uh, took care of uh, two of them himself. Uh, unfortunately, Simon did pass the six-up save from the uh, for the power fist of the platoon commander. But then one of the sergeants revved his chainsword and uh, casually lopped the head off the uh, of the final Tau uh, Tau fire warrior. Uh, and then we consolidated. And between uh, and with our consolidate, we were actually able to tag both of those units because between our charge move and our piling and our consolidate. We were able to get to there, and uh, that that hasn't like stopped these tanks from shooting. Because Simon could, of course, shoot into combat with me, but it means that he'll be on fives unless he spots for them. At which point they'll be hitting on. Uh, okay, I'm not going to be able to chew my way through that squad. That's a, that's that's the last remaining like chunky squad. These guys haven't got feeling a pain. That's the big difference. Those these guys will go down like a sack of shit if you concentrate some fire on them. But I haven't got the weight of shots. So that's that's what I'm... Simon is starting to. He sort of, you've been doing some calculations in your head and you've been working out like how many shots. You, you, the Pure Tide Engram chip, that Tau implant is going off in the back of his head and he's just like, why do they not retreat? Why Why are they not breaking? It's like Robo Siren in the back of his head. <laughs> it's these Mordians, man. You can't break the Mordians. You've got to kill them to a man. And in this edition, they keep coming back. They've not come back yet, though. And going to have to turn four without coming back. That could be pretty... Pretty spicy. But over here, we did one wound to the ghost kill. Um, it was a bayonet that did it. Power swords didn't quite manage it. But uh, a cheeky bayonet managed to find a weakness in the ghost kill just doing one wound to it. But it has a battle suit system. Um, we, actually hadn't, we actually hadn't said like what it was. We sort of just left it. But we looked at the ghost kill. And it's like, it can have smoke or lone operative and like stealth. You're never going to need to pop smoke on it no. so we just sort of when we we sort of looked at what it could do we were like oh well, well you would definitely put a battle suit system on that so he will be able to fall back and shoot without any issues with his ghost kill there guys um just something to be aware of like i don't really know what the smoke does if you're a tau player or, play, or someone who knows tau a bit better than us um please let us know why you would ever keep smoke on on the ghost kill if you ever would um all right but that is the that is the charge the charge of the Morian 50th rifles. Uh, we have managed to get overwhelming force. We have managed to cleanse. Uh, we've not got we've we've not got big points on the secondaries. Like um, I'll bring it down was just a few points, and our investigate was a few, and same for secure no man's land. That our cleanse is pretty weak. But we are just clearing through our secondaries every turn as best as we can. All right, that is the end of the midpoint for the guard. We are we are doing our best, but the Tau firepower. I think it, I Simon's not convinced. I am convinced. I think these guys are going to do some serious work. I think the Tau firepower is going to start taking a toll, reaping a bloody harvest. Let's go into Tau Ten Three. Embracing the tenants of the Montca, being inspired. <laughs> By the aggression of the humans, the gu the gula the guela, 
The Tao have decided that the best form of defense is an offense, and they are driving forward. Long strike, moving forward, ghost kill, falling back, but also somewhat forward, so we can still shoot. Like a banana move. Ex indeed, the tactical banana, exactly. Tactical banana, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you've got the Riptide, who we didn't have to, and we didn't feel him last turn. We're going to feel him this turn. Um, and then you decided to fall back with regular strike, yeah, but leave no strike. Yeah. <laughs> in, the, in, uh, in combat because that ties me up yeah you've then brought your fire warriors out yeah which you debated about because you're like oh, I don't want to lose my OC but with the with them now tied up you should be okay yeah and you fell back with these fire warriors and I have uh, positioned them in a cowardly fleeing pose yeah um, and well, then you jump pathfinders no they're fire warriors they're fire warriors yeah, yeah. yeah. and then you jumped over uh, the wall or you might say you jumped through the wall with the uh Stealth suits, they have fallen back, but two of them and the gun drones can still shoot because yeah. uh, of the battlesuit system. Yeah. Uh, over here, you've brought the crisis team uh, this way so that they can shoot into the basilisk. Um, I think we measured it up before and it was like five were in range and the commander and one guy couldn't yeah, quite make it. Yeah, for the plasma. Um, so the Tau have not fallen back. They have taken the blow from the guard. They have taken the charge. They've taken some damage from it. But a lot of the main damage dealers of the Tau army is still here. I mean, they've, I mean, they've they've not actually lost any. They've lost a bunch of infantry, and they've lost a devilfish, and everything else is pure, unadulterated firepower. And let's see what that can do. But before we do, Simon, objectives remind me, sir. Uh, I have deployed teleport Homer. You binned it off. Bend that off because you wanted to shoot. Uh, yeah, I think I need all the shooting. Uh, uh, that took me to no prisoners. Uh, and they've got extend battle lines. So. Okay. So extend battle lines is that one. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, right now I've got on that, uh, this just this one model here, but he is 5OC. So you actually do hold that objective. Do I? All right. Be nice. Which is good. Um, yeah. So it's you've got extend battle lines. No prisoners now is, well, if you can wipe these two scraplets out, you'll be having a good time. Hopefully, yes. All right. Well, shall we go? Yes. Where do I start? Right, so we're going to start with this one here. Yeah. He's going to spot for these guys into them. Okay. That's totally fine. He's eligible to shoot. And he can shoot out of combat? Yes, at minus one. Right. But anyway, we're going to start for these guys who are going to shoot into them. Okay, so 10 fire warriors. Uh, that'll be 20 shots. I believe you'll be in rapid fire range. Uh, point blank barrage is within nine inches. Oh, is it? All right. Okay, so yeah. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. And you, what you were, uh, he's putting himself down even less CP. My God, where is it? <laughs> there it is. So six, ten. So threes and threes. Threes and threes. There's nothing I can do about this. Just got to wear it. I'm not even on an objective. I charged off the objective, so I'm not even defending humanity. That's a lot of twos. Yeah, it usually is. So. Well, no, I'm used to your firepower bringing Titans down now. <laughs> Titans, I'm not worried about. It's bloody infantry back in my head. Yeah. Where the Titans fail, the Guardsmen will succeed. So, uh, That's quite a lot. Seven, ten. Better than last time. Six. And that's eight. That's eight. Okay, so, dead, dead, no, live, live, live. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven wounds go through. So I think you've got the squad. Uh, no. Yes. Uh, yes, you've got the squad to a man, but the um, Castellum will live unscathed, because that's one, two. Yeah. That's three, and then that's four, five, six, seven. So the Castellum is going to be totally unscathed, but they're going to die, and I'm going to spend two CP for reinforcements. And is he a low not? He's not a low not, no, no, no. Okie dokie. Uh, so, I am going to... Oh. No. Oh. No. Uh, I'm going to do... You'll shoot him into him? Yes, I think so. Cool. Okay. So, you'll be hitting me on uh, fives, because you're stuck in combat. A bit in you shooting out of combat. So it is four for the missiles, right? It's uh, four for the smart missiles, yeah. Uh, two hits. And you're wounding on threes. Uh, two wounds. And then it's no AP. 
and I believe I've just got a five up save. Pass one, fair one. I, I believe I've got three wounds left. I will double double check, but I believe I've got three. You've then got the accelerator burst cannon. Which is, since I've lost all my. Uh, I think that's four shots. Uh, hitting on. Uh, one hit. One hit. Hitting on fires and zooming. Yes. Uh, that's definitely a wound. And I pass, that's definitely a save. I think I just saw it there. We'll just double check I haven't jibbed you. Oh, oh. Ghost kill. <laughs> Where's it gone? It'll be in here somewhere. We've just... Uh... Pathfinder crosses back. Oh, it's there. It's at the back. <sighs> it's strength six. That's the only difference. Yeah, you would have been winning on twos, but you got six to win anyway. Yeah. Cool. I knew there was one thing slightly different about it. It used to be like six shots. It was really, really good. Um... All right, so the Castellan has taken a wound. Where next? Uh, da, 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 da. Right, so... Survive, men. Survive! Uh, so that's two points. So, uh, my stompy dude. This one or yeah, this one? No, the small guy. This one, yeah. He's going to... Oh, no. Do you have a spot? I'm just working out which one's got the most shots. Riptide's got more shots. Oh, yeah, Riptide will get spotted for by the other guy then. Cool. So, long strike. This guy here? Yeah. Cool, where's he going? Uh, just into, which, which blob? He's got a no, choice. No, so, not the, so the Riptide has got, what's the Riptide got? Ion, X, he's got the Ion Cannon. Yeah. And that's six shots, and then he's got a Plasma as well, which is no, seven so shots. so he's not going to get spotted on. There's a reason okay. for that. There's a reason? Yes. Uh, You're trying to get as many shots as possible. No, because I might want him to shoot him. Oh, of course. Fair play. And if I put spot for him, he's going to be hitting him on fires instead of force. Yes. So, right. So it's between the either the uh, long strike who's got <coughs> long strike's got eight uh, six shots plus his cannon, so he's got seven shots. I still think that's probably better than the ghost kill, who I think's got two shots from his fusion gun. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so ghost kill. Yeah, so he's going to spot for long strike. Cool. So, although long strike, I think it's natively blitzed skill three plus. So you can yeah. have both of them hitting them on threes if you wanted. Uh, I'm ninety nine percent certain long strikes natively hitting on a three. That's how he ends up like hitting on a a two no matter what. Yeah, that's probably good. Idea. Right. Okay. So swap it around. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So to be clear for the viewer, long strike is going to spot for the ghost kill, which means both of them are going to hit on threes and they're going to shoot into this Bob Simon. Yes. All right, here we go. Who's shooting first? Uh, let's start with the ghost kill. Okay, how many shots from the main gun? The, the uh, fusion collider, I believe it is. Two, Two shots hit on threes now. That's a hit. That is a wound, and that is very dead guardsman. And then the twin burst. Twin burst can. That's going to be four shots. It's going to be hitting on threes. Uh, and you'll be wounding on threes, re rolling. Nice. Uh, this will be. I'm on an objective. This will be four ups. Uh, pass one, fail one. Defenders of humanity, survive! I'm actually really impressed by the defenders of humanity. It basically means you're always getting cover. Because you're getting cover because you're in cover, or you're getting cover because you're on an objective. Uh, light strike? Light, long strike? Light strike. This is a long strike. Ooh, yeah, he hasn't messed it up this time. Last time, you rolled a one into a one. And then... Six shots from the smart missile systems, because you've got two twin smart missile systems, and these smart missile systems are slightly better than Devilfish's ones. So for some reason. Four, four, so eight shots in total. Uh, is it not three? No, it's four. We had this conversation last time. Yes. What was I looking at? Something's got three shots. Is his different to the... One minute. I could be going mad here. So that twin smart system is two shots. And that one... That one's three! So he, they've got... They've got... Yeah, so there's four of them have got all fucking different ones. All three have got different... And what about the Riptide? One minute, because he gets bloody smart missiles as well. What's he get? He got, he's got three. So you've got four units with three different systems with all the same name. GW, get on it! <laughs> there probably is an FAQ and we're, we're messing up. But we're going up. We've got the cars. I think we've checked it on the app as well. So, yeah. But Lambass is down in the comment section if we... Um, Do I get three roll ones with a wrong strike? Uh, no. no, you get to roll a wound or a hit. You want one of those? Nice. Five hits. Uh, twin linked. Yeah. Threes, isn't it? I need. Yeah. Three. 
Uh, one dies. Do you know you said I didn't think I had the firepower to kill a big unit? I didn't say that. You said that. And it turns out you were right. Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The fact that you can bring a Titan down with impunity would change. You had a few probably like pull shots here and there that you could have chucked into it. And yet you can't kill a blob. Well, that's, uh, when, I, when I worked it out, I think I had 40 shots, excluding those guys. 48 shots that are going to be hitting on I just need to sit on the objectives. Yeah. I'm going to sit on the objective. Dig it in! Dig it in! It's like this like, towel suit swirling around. It's like... Da -da 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 -da. It's like, fucking, hold the line, man! Hold the line! Uh, right, I've got to do these guys first. These guys, where are they going? Uh, into him. Uh, yeah, because, uh, to be fair, even if I kill him off first, I can't jib you because he's the officer and he has to die last. If that affects your decision <coughs> in any way, shape, or form. Oh, right, okay. All oh, oh, right, in that case, then, uh, I'll start with these guys. Cool. I think that's a good call. So, uh, so I was thinking if you could jib me. So that'd be, what, four, eight, 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 eight. Also, I would never take the king's colours off <laughs> on principle. So eight hitting on fours. Uh, uh, yes, okay. eight hitting on fours and four hitting on fives. Do the eight first. Uh, that's not bad. Okay, because no one can spot for these guys, is there? No. Uh, no. All right, cool. Um, uh, that's two uh, wounds. I have to take them on the squad. You already hold the objective, so I might as well take it on the main squad, not the command squad. Uh, no. Right, first one's going to go on... I think they're all going to die anyway. But first one's going to go on the sergeant. He has died. Second one's going to go on the heavy weapon team. He, they have taken a wound. All right. So, pop, pop. All right, the reason I'm being careful about this is I'm trying to... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I've done it. Fuck it, it doesn't matter. I've done it. I've done it, and I'd rather... No, on principle... Oh, one minute, one minute. Feel no pains. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> should have had a should have had a marshal. Um, all right, yeah, carry on. But, um, they are. Sorry, I should have said this. They're going to spot on that. Cool, that's fine. You should be able to see. Uh, two hits from the gun drone. Uh, two wounds. Feel no pain. <laughs> He's alive. <sighs> nice. Not need no wasted reinforcements yet. Uh, right. Oh, one second. Um, I used to reinforce the squad before. I had Vox casters in. One second. Ah, still cost me. Still cost me two CP. Might have already cost me one. Uh, right. What are we on now? Battle suits. Battle suits. So the stuff that can hit hit him. So that will be uh, five plasma guns and six missile launchers. Oh, no, I need to claim that, actually. So you only need like how? What's the range of your fusion guns? Twelve. Yeah, actually, I'm on, before I, measure, I should have measured that first. Don't worry. If, you, if there's been a slight cocker, we'll sort it out. Uh, one, two. Two fusion guns. So two fusion guns are uh, available there. You only need one of them go through to permanently knock the squad out. And uh, you'd hold the objective anyway. So, yeah. right. But you'll be hitting on fives, remember. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Right, okay. I'm going to put the plasma. Do you just want to put like two suits over there? Yeah. Make it happen. And then four suits over here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And we know that one of the suits at the back, which would be this one, wouldn't have been in range over here anyway. Because yeah. we you did a bit of... For the, for, the viewer, for the viewer's sake, you might be thinking, oh, more than that's definitely in range. There was a bit of moving back and forth off camera because Simon wasn't sure which direction he was going to go. But when we initially came this way, we knew that one wasn't in range. Just for the, for the viewer's understanding of why we're saying one's not there. So, uh, fusion blasters... Okay, two fusion blasters into the command squad. Hitting on fives. No. Two uh, plasma guns hitting on fives. Uh, one shot each, don't worry. I got you. That's one hit. So two hits. Uh, We're doing on twos. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. That's all right, that's all you need. I know, because it goes straight through. Minus three. Yeah. Go straight through. Yeah, cool. I now need to roll. Three six yeah, ups. So I was thinking you would have a save on that. 
Nah, I was hoping I'd get two and then I'd fail on the last one and it would be epic as fuck. But no, uh, so, so that's gone and it's permanently gone because I have no more. Uh, I've already used reinforcements this term. I've still got missile pods. Two missile pods. Um, one hit. Uh, it does wound. Um, and this is going to, uh, it's going to have to go on the medic. Uh, it's going to be AP minus... One, but I'm in, I'm in, I'm in yeah. cover, and I would have been on the objective as well for defensive humanity, so it'll be a five up. No, two damage. Can the medic look after himself? No. So the medic's gone, so all we've got left is the officer and the king's colours. And yes, I know that the smart choice... One minute. But the smart choice here... This medic is really embedded in there. There we are. He's like, no, I don't want to go! It's not my time yet! I know that the smart choice absolutely would be to take the flag first, but we do not let the colours of the emperor fall! Uh, plasmas? Yes, uh, four plasma shots hitting on threes. Uh, he hits on twos. Right? Oh, one guy died. Yeah, three plasma shots hitting on uh, threes. Uh, that's one hit. Uh, wounding, I believe it's strength eight, but a one's not going to do it anyway. Uh, then three missile pods. That's six shots hitting on threes. Oh, you're re-rolling ones. Did you roll only ones before when you were shooting? Uh, two. You okay. get to re-roll those then. Uh, but we'll come back to that in a second. I, I, think, think, you I think you rolled two ones as well. Uh, uh, so this is five to wound. Ooh, nice. So three at minus one. I think I'm gonna go for the dice tray. I'm not. Uh, one goes through, so that's two damage. So we've taken two so far. Uh, Reroll those two plasma shots that you had before, sir. Uh, so they're both hit now, and they need to uh, roll to wound. Uh, I don't think either one gets it. What's the strength on a plasma bolt? Uh, eight. No, so no, not quite. Uh, and then you've got the commander. Uh, he's hitting on a two with his plasma gun. That's a hit. And I uh, need a five again. That's a wound. Uh, AP three, so six up save from the basilisk. Nope, that's three damage. So straight up to five when those plasmas go through. They do they do sting. Burst cannon is four shots, hitting on twos, re-rolling ones, wounding on fives. No AP. Uh, nice, good volley. Could have done with those sixes in a moment, though. Yeah. Uh, give him the beans. Uh, one wound. Uh, three up save from the uh, the basilisk's uh, steel hull. Nope, goes through. So taking six wounds, uh, and then you've got a cyclic ion blast. And do you want to overcharge? Yes. Might allow you to pop it if you're lucky. How many wounds it got left? It's got. Uh, I think it's got. It might be five, but it's it's four to five. So I've got three shots. Because Chimeras have got eleven wounds. I'm pretty certain it's got a. It's got five wounds left. Right, let, me, oh, let me just find... Where, so it's, it's your commander here. Yeah, that's the one. Three there shots, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Three shots hitting on... Uh, twos. Twos. Are you overcharging because it yeah. gives it you more... To give it more damage? Yeah. Yeah, so you might get it if you if you overcharge. Reroll the ones because he's leading a unit. And there we go. All hit. Uh, we're on fives, I believe. Yeah, that's top of the isn't it? Yeah. Ooh... AP. Minus two. I'm going to do one at a time because I actually have a CPU roll and I kind of want it to live. One goes through. One saved. I don't need my CP now. And it saves anyway. Minus two, was it? Yeah. Cool. So take two more damage. So... Has this all right. Has this all right. So I'll have three wounds left on the basilisk. That was that was squeaky bum time. I think you got lucky on the wounds. I got lucky on the saves and overall... I think getting one through is about right. If you'd got all three through, I would have been... I would have been like, it's the title all over again! <laughs> He's just like, the crew's just like, for Kevin, as they hold on. All right. Kevin seems like a distant memory at this point in the battle of four. I have to say, like, right. we, we miss him dearly. So, there's just him. Big Rippy McRipperson. Where's he going? Right, so he's got the heavy burst cannon. Is that right? No. No. Ion gun. Is that the only gun he's got? That and a plasma. And he's got two missile drones as well, which give him four more shots. And how? what's the range on the plasma? Okay. Uh, 30, uh, no, uh, 24 on the plasma. Right, so I'm going to put the eye on. Yeah. Into him. Into the commander. I need to get one through and you'll splat him. Yeah, well, it's worth it's worth two points. It's worth a point. For no prisoners? Yeah. Well, Fair. I'm not going to kill them. No, no, no. no. Uh, so plasma, check if you're in 30 with the missiles. Because if you are, you might you might be able to. Well, okay. No, but I'm in no. range of him. They're not indirect. These missiles. Oh, aren't they? These are similar to 
their missiles. Oh, the only oh, missiles oh. that you, yeah. So missiles, plasma here. Yeah. Big boom, boom, ion gun to the Costello who's behind that wall just there. So hitting on fours. Yeah. Don't need to overcharge, do I? No. I don't believe so. No. It's not going to do you uh, <laughs> do you much. Okay, three hits. Oh, average twos. That's all you need. Yep, twos. Okay, so it's two five up in vulnerable saves. Can the refractor field <laughs> do its job? No. No, it's, it's dead as shit. <laughs> so let's put them to one side with those other guardsmen there and I'll, and I'll take them all off because they're the reinforcement blob. A glorious, a glorious end. A good death is its own reward. That infantry blob started off there and through successive shooting and bayonet charges made it to the Tao lines only to be cut down at the moment of their glory. Ah, as the emperor intended. There you go. Nice. 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 Right, so... Simon, you're giving me a look of uh, both fear and... Uh, Twin plasma rifles? And interest. <laughs> and interest at my narrative, at my narrative <laughs> skills, as it were. Uh, one plasma rifle shot, yeah. Uh, it's a hit. It's a wound. It's a dead. That's it. He's only got the two guns, yeah. Oh, he's got the twin. Uh, the, twin the, two, the two rocket drones, uh, or missile drones, so they're four shots. Uh, they'll be hitting on uh, fives. Uh, two hits, and they'll be winning on twos, uh, two wounds, and they'll be AP minus one, five ups, no, two more. Whew. Whew. There we go. I don't, know, I don't know why I did that. Why don't we take the movement tray off? That might be useful. Clear the battlefield up a bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he's going to charge him. Uh, Riptide? Yes. Cool. Um... I don't know if it's much good in combat, but it'll stop you shooting me. Yeah. That'll do. We'll do all the combat and stuff for the tower off camera. Yeah. Yeah, move the wound thingy. Ooh, can you get past your own model? Oh, could you have fallen back further with him? Yeah, I could have got to there. Okay. See if you can squeeze past. No, I can't. Can't make can't squeeze past. Do you have the you can't land your base there either? No. And you definitely, let's make sure we're not, let's make sure we're not cooking. You had a 10 inch move. Yeah. And you've gone directly back that way. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, that was exactly where you were. So we're not, so, for, so, because we always try and make the epic moments happen if we can. Yeah. For the viewer's discretion, uh, that's the direction Simon uh, fell back. We've, we've given him every inch that he possibly can have. And unfortunately, the Riptide can't make it through. Ah! <sighs> Yeah, we always try and let the epic moments happen, if at all possible. No, it's basically going to fit in there, is it? What do you think? No, sadly uh, not without being on top of my guys. No, nope. oh well. We always try and make the epic moments happen, because we had like a bit of a moment where like a baby knight failed a charge because of like some battlefield debris, and it just left a really bad taste in both players' mouths. So where, where at all possible, I'll always like, do you have an extra inch, move that, can you do anything? Yeah. But I think in this case, I think it's above board, no hard feelings like that no, le no, no, legit no, can't go through. Um... All right, that was a good turn. You took out two blobs. One's going to come back. One's particularly thinned. And my shooting this turn is going to be like those bozos. And like, there's not much there. Yeah. There's a bit of close. Oh, you, did you shoot into combat here? Uh, no, he shot out of combat there. He shot out of combat there. There will be some combat here. Yes. We'll do it off camera because yeah. it's, it's, only, it's only little trickles. Um, wow, the guard is looking a bit thin. We're getting 20 guys back, but the guard's looking a bit thin. Hmm. Let's see what we can do going into guard turn four. We are clinging on by the skin of our teeth, by the narrowest of margins. We are trying to make this game go the distance. And, and Simon, this is the face of a man. He, I mean, he's smiling, but he's actually pretty fucking furious. <laughs> so I brought my reinforcements on here. I stayed nine inches away from the uh, from the riptide, and uh, I'm going to try and take this off here. And Simon, you may now proceed to. No, it's going to be a bit boring for people because I do it every in single game. No, some there. people might not have heard it. No, I'm sure they have at this point. <laughs> I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. An, uh, I'll do an impression. You're a cap. You're an admiral, right? So we'll go for like a pirate. Arr! 
I be hating that reinforcements. It shouldn't be coming on by any side. Should come into your reinforcement in your deployment zone. Arr. I think that's a pretty good impression of you. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, so the reinforcements will come on there because it's after turn three. I can come on any board side. Going after that, if I can take that out, that could potentially deny Simon uh, some pretty big primary. Uh, in terms of my other objectives, uh, we had no prisoners and attempting targets. Obviously, no prisoners is good because I can kill those two fire warriors. Attending target was an interesting one. Simon obviously couldn't pick either of those two because it's, it's for sure. But he could pick this one. And so he did pick this one. And uh, I'd automatically pass my Battleshock test because I wanted to take this one off him. Um, and... By picking this one, he currently has 6 OC on it, and I have 4 because of the banner. Um, if I can kill 3 stealth suits between my basilisk and uh, my shooting, then I will control that objective. And that will mean that Simon will get 0 primary in turn 4, and I will be able to score both of my points. Now, I, um, I've got 3 CP in the bank which is just important because I want to do like a reroll on the number of shots for anything. Or I can do reroll for number of shots and I've got grenades as well. And then I can, in, in, in your turn, I can then get another CP and have enough for reinforcements. All right, there we go. The dreaded stratagem. Uh, so we're going to go for, uh, that's my movement, that's my command. Oh, orders, I should say. Uh, no damage was done over here. Orders, uh, Kree's going to put fixed bayonets and uh, take cover on there we decided to stay in combat because we can't fall back and shoot anyway so we might as well stay in and uh that way uh, we can um deny that devil fish from shooting us for one more turn uh he's also we're also going to do the platoon command squad's orders over here for uh take aim uh, they obviously can't get an order because they've just come back and these guys can't have an order because um they uh don't they can't order themselves unfortunately um uh, okay so uh yes Letters. I discovered something the other day. You know how you hate reinforcements? Yeah. You know that the only command squad in the entire guard book, uh, only character in the entire guard book that has reinforcements is the Scion command squad. For some reason, it's got the regiment keyword. Also, you can use reinforcements on Slime Arbo, which is hilarious. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Scions, that's definitely a typo. Yeah. But Marbo... That's not a typo. <laughs> All right, so shooting-wise, we're going to put everything from that squad into those two bozos there. We'll start with the two uh, auto cannons. Uh, we've got two hits. Uh, we've got two wounds. Simon, uh, two uh, uh, five-up saves. Uh, get one, fail one. Uh, we'll go for uh, a couple of last pistols from the sergeants. We've got a hit. Uh, we've got a wound, four up save, please, uh, and he's gone. There we are. Just doing a couple of little bits to make it easy. Uh, over here, we're going to put everything we've got, every damn weapon we've got into, uh, realistically into long strike, because uh, he's minus one to hit, um, and he's not, uh, and he hasn't got an invulnerable or anything. So we've got uh, take aim on the last cannon, rolls the mighty one and misses. Take aim on the cracked rocket, rolls a four and does hit. But does not wound. Uh, crack grenade. Uh, hits and auto wounds. So minus two. Uh, and also uh, hitting your rear armor. So plus two to pen. Oh, that's what action. So uh, three up save on long strike. No. Uh, take two damage, sir. Uh, Flame is going to try and uh, wash him down with a bit of heat. Uh, nope. And then we've got one, uh, two uh, last pistols. Two hits. No wounds. And then we've got one, two, three last guns. All right. Uh, one miss. Could have done with a few sixes there, potentially. Nope. So just a couple of wounds on long strike. That's all from the crack grenades. Uh, we'll go to the middle. Uh, we've got uh, Creed um, and other pistol people. We'll go into uh, the devil fish. So it's going to be... I did want to uh, overwatch when you moved, by the way. I might not move then. Okay, then. If that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather have... I was. I only moved like three inches forward anyway, so I'll go back to here. But then you won't be on the objective. I will charge you. Okay, well. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you get an overwatch at some point? Yes, 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 absolutely. Um, no, I appreciate that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, with, there's only two guys left in the squad. I'm definitely going to... Uh, I'd rather have the longer charge. Um, okay, so we've got the... We've got Creed shooting her pistols into the devil fish. 
Uh, two hits because we went for fixed bayonets and um, it doesn't matter, it didn't wound anyway. Uh, and then two last pistols, nope. And uh, when we've got a plasma from the officer, no. All right, uh, so then we get over to here. So what we're going to do now, and we've checked this because it is ridiculous and we checked it, grenade stratagem. So the grenade stratagem just says, if you're within range, eight inches of an enemy unit, roll C to 66. H4 plus is a mortal wound. It doesn't say you have to have six guys in there. Yeah. So these two people are just going to yeet a shitload of grenades <laughs> over there. Um so 66, hurrah! And that's going to be three mortal wounds. So that kills one and a half. Um, yeah, one and a half. Uh, I also want to do their shooting, but I'll do that in a, in a moment because I'll shoot my basilisk at you first. So basilisk, number of shots, five. So five plus one for blast, plus three for it being a D6 plus uh, three shot weapon. Now I've stayed still. Um... So a minus one, I stay still so I'd be hit, uh, it's going to be fours because I can't be minus two to hit. I'm minus one for shooting at someone out of line of sight, but that doesn't stack with stealth. Oh no, plus one for heavy, so I'm hitting on fives. And you're degraded. I don't know if Basilisk could degrade. Oh, I don't know. I'll roll the dice. How many sixes do I get? Uh, it was. I've got one, two there, two fives to one side. They definitely miss. And I rolled a five, so I'd have five, six, nine shots, so one of them dropped out of the tray. Okay, so it's either two auto wounds. Or I... uh, subtract one from the hit roll. So I can't be degraded and fire indirect and... Well, you... This model is one to four wounds remaining. Yep. Each time this model makes an attack, subtract one from the hit roll. Yes, but you already minus one to hit from stealth, yeah. and you already minus one to hit from... Uh, firing in direct. Yeah. So, but you can only ever be minus one in total. So I stayed still, yeah. which gives me plus one to hit. Yeah. So even if you minus one to count, I hit on fours basic. Yeah. So you're minus one from that to hit, put me back onto fours. Yeah. And then you minus one again so for stealth. So I'm hitting you on fives. Yeah. You, yeah. you can't like stack yeah, yeah, on a million yeah. like negative yeah, modifiers yeah. basically. Two more wounds. So four wounds in total at AP. Minus uh, th uh, two. Uh, so that's going to kill three uh, kill three guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I'll do that. I'll shoot that first and then I'll shoot the, the, the squad. I did my grenades. Do my plasma pistol, which misses. Do my guy with a las uh, gun. Uh, one auto wound. And that's it. So one auto wound. One, uh, two up, uh, three up save. Sorry. He's fine. Yeah, you're fine. Exactly. So there's two blokies left because the injured guy died. Yeah. Um, heavy bolt, I might as well go over here. Hey, two sustained hits. Two lethal hits. Two sustained hits. Three wounds. Three... Oh, sorry. Have you forgotten something? No, I was going to use a stratagem, but they're not grenades, so I can't. You can't grenade me back? I can make it plus two to charge, but they're not grenades, so I can't. I think there's like a photon thing. Yeah, but you have to be a grenade unit. Okay, we'll check it out because I think there is something they can do. No, think, you have to be a grenade unit to do it. I think there's something that battle suits can do and there's something that... All right, have a look, yeah. Uh, Carry on. Photon grenades. No, this is the old book. In the old book, you used to have yeah, yeah. Uh, one for battle suits and one for grenades. Um, so you have three wounds on your crest battle suits here. Three four-ups. Uh, you take, uh, two, uh, not, you're not dead, you've got two wins left. Cheeky Heavy Bolt are doing its job there. Um, all right, so we are going to go for a charge now. And we're going to charge you over here. Right, well, I'm going to overwatch you. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's eight shots. And you've got the drone as well, but do him separately. The two drones, I see. Oh! Threes. That one. What with the CP? Yeah. Well, I've got <laughs> three then. Three. And your drone. Do you want to do that? I'll put those three to one side. Drone gets a hit. Wounding on a three. Wound, so four. All right. I have to take it on the banner guy first. I haven't got a choice. 
Full up save for cover. I've used one for grenades. Mm -hmm. I haven't used one for CP reroll yet. I'm gonna save that for the charge. <laughs> okay, so the banner does fall. The banner falls. And I've just got my charge to make now. 2d6. That'll be in. All right. It's going to be close. We're both 1 OC, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. So three attacks from the Toon Commander. Hit on threes of that power fist. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. It's got three hits. All right, he's wounding on threes. Come on. Got three wounds. Three at minus two. Three five up saves. Oh! You make you live with one. You live with one. But you are probably gonna be battle shocked. <laughs> I hope so anyway. Oh, Alright, two attacks back. That was and you always make your five up saves. Uh one hit. No wound. Oh, that's all you needed. That's all you needed because I'm not big OC anymore. I'm only OC1. Yeah. I believe. I'll double double check. But, but you're now contesting it, so I think... I am contesting it, but I don't get a tempting target. So it's not a 10-point swing. It's only a 5-point. So we'll see. We shall see. That is the end. Let's see if I'm battle shot. No. No, you're not battle shot. You have to take a battle shot test as well. Not until my turn. Right, okay. You take it in your command phase. Right. That's why there's certain things that, yeah, you, yeah. that you can do to make your opponent take battle shock in your phase, which can help for stuff like this. Like yeah. the Screamer Killer for the Tyranids. Um, I don't know if he still does that. We did that when Leviathan launched. Um, all righty. Ho, ho. That is the end of guard turn four. We have managed to secure the objectives. Well, secure two, contest one, abandon one, destroy one, as it were. It's going to be tough. Let's see. We are, we are, like I said, we are clinging on by the skin of our teeth. We, uh, we are, our, our men are dying all around us, but one of the flags still stands. As long as the sta as long as the flag of Mordia stands, there is hope. Going into Tau, turn four. They are swirling around isolated pockets of guardsmen. There are islands of green surrounded by an ocean of red this is this is not a battle with distinct front lines this is not a battle with point a and point b this is a maelstrom of war and emerging from it there can only be one victor and simon has got to do everything he can he's got to level every shot possible to try and clear through these guardsmen now we do want to acknowledge that we we have made a small mistake well, potentially a big mistake, but we've made it. We've made it. We've made a mistake. You guys, we haven't gone back and checked the footage, but we think it's not been too impactful. But Simon uh, should have had Kayun last turn, which would have meant that he, any sixes he would have got on like guided units would have been um, uh, would have been sustained its two, and he has status one in general. Now the thing is, uh, a lot of the shots over here uh, were not guided. Yeah. And likewise, over here, you've got your kills there anyway. Yeah. So it wasn't so bad. The only place it might have made a difference is on the Basilisk. That's the only one. But um, I feel like you... I, I My gut instinct is you weren't rolling a huge amount. But we've caught it, and we're going to make sure that we, we, we do it forward. If you guys... Um, you guys will watch this afterwards, we'll be able to go and check to see how many sixes we got. Uh, please let us know. And if that Basilisk should have been dead, then we'll... And, it, and if it's, it's a really close game, we might, you know, <laughs> give it over to Simon. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. That was a big, that was a big mistake. We want to always try and make sure, as, as it is a friendly game, that we're not um, we're not screwing each other over as best possible. We've, re we've remembered now. So if you've put a comment down there, leave it there. But remember, we have caught it now. Remember for that next time. Exactly. It's not... It's. N I would say it's not a morning battle without Simon getting that wrong, but I'm actually going to own that one because Simon, you've never played with Tower before, and I've already played with them like three times before. But and two of those times were in ninth edition, 
But still, I should have I should have picked up on that, and I knew there was something back of my my mind in your turn three, and I knew I should have oh, picked up on that. No so biggie. lambast me, lambast me, viewers. I shall fall on the sword there. Um, all right, so Simon, where are we going? Uh, right, so he is not going to guide them. Uh, he's going to guide. Well, let's start over here. Okay. Over here. These are going to guide these and him into those. So you're saying the three troopers up there are going to guide the ten troopers down here, and they're going to unload everything into the platoon of guardsmen. Yes. Understood. All right. Well, I guess they're not going to be in rapid fire range, so it's just going to be ten shots. Well, uh, you might be partially in rapid fire range. You do a 15 inch rapid fire. What is it? All right. There you oh. go. So uh, you will have five of the squad. Yes, comfortably five of the squad in. So that'll be 15 shots, hitting on threes, looking for sixes. Oh, baby! And you're guided, so that will be an additional eight shots. Okay. Um, so four. There you go. There's your eight. And threes. Ah, nice. That many. That uh, many. Is that five, ten, fourteen. Why has that been all game? <sighs> Well, you couldn't have had it the first two turns. <laughs> like I said, if we get to the end and uh, it's really, really close and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll probably either call it a draw or give the win over to you, depending on which way it's gone. Um, because obviously, you, potentially, you could have missed out on a, a few shots there. So how many was it? 14? Yeah. No. Uh, one, two, three, four, uh, live. I'm not on objective, so 10 will die. Ten are going to go. That's half the platoon gone already. It's the same squads is going to get p perpetually reinforced. And did they're like, why would we die? <laughs> it's like you are dying, Mister Greedy. You're just coming back again. Uh, and the ex IR accelerator cannon from the Riptide. Going to them as well. Yeah. Now he's not guided at the moment. Yes, he is. Uh, double guide from the Pathfinder. Yes. Cool. Uh, they're not Pathfinders. All your Pathfinders are dead. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Uh, then no, he's not guided. He's not so full. So. You don't want to use the double fish to guide. Or Devilfish is going to guide someone else? Uh, oh, gee, I could use a good Devilfish. He's not going to be guided. Anything. Devilfish going to guide. Okay, yeah. off we go. Uh, so, lots of misses, but fortunately, you've got two sustained hits. Two. One oh, becomes yeah. two sustained yeah, yeah. hits, That's two. I'm going to roll two sixes then. No, sadly not. Four. Uh, that will be four more dead. I told, I told you, Simon, these guys die like uh, crap when they've not been led by officers. And then it's a plasma rifle, isn't it? And the missile drones. Uh, right, so... Plus I've hit on a three. Nope. And then the missile drones, four shots. Uh, one hit. Was it in on threes, isn't it? The missile drones only hit on a four right. plus. Ah, right, yeah, of course. It's like the gun drones. It uh, doesn't wound. Nope. Okay. Uh, right. No, I don't want to guide them. He's going to shoot his big thing into him. Cool. And his missiles into him. Lone, lone. So just to be clear, well, he's no longer falling back. He's being guided by. You're going to guide with them. Yeah. Okay. So he's put a put rail cannon here. Smart missiles. Actually, I'm going to come back to him. I'm going to do him first. Do him first, yeah. and he's going just going to go straight into him. Yeah. So okay. Two shots. I'm so in... four shots from the uh, from his main gun, hitting on uh, fours. Uh, so that's three hits, no sustained. Uh, when you're on threes, so that's three wounds. Uh, so he's just going to have a four up save for being in cover. Uh, nope, takes two, so he's got one wound left. And then you've got the gun drones, and he's the sergeant, so that'll be four more shots hitting on fives. Uh, no hits there. Right, okay, so I'm going to stick to the original plan then. Missiles and rail cannon. Yeah. So missiles into the uh, officer uh, for uh, si uh, six shots, because he's not, he's regular strike. Yeah, so hang a second. So did I say he's guiding them? Yeah. Right. Said, I thought you said these guys. Yeah, guy yeah. Actually, no, I don't want to guide because I don't want to gimp him hitting him on fives. How many wounds has he got left? One. You need to have six shots. Did he stay still? Yes. Where's your card? It's not missing. It's not heavy. I think it, it must be heavy. It's a rail gun. It is. Yeah, rail gun, heavy. Um, add one to the hit roll. Uh, also, you can't have plus two anyway. So uh, you'll be hit on threes with the main gun. Yeah. With a with an inbuilt reroll. Yeah. Um, 
And or you can hit on twos with the main gun with an inbuilt reroll. But then give that. But that hill will be hitting on fives. So it's up to you if you want to guide or not. Ooh, no, I'll not guide. I okay. So I'll so six into him. Okay. Hit on fours, yeah. Hit on fours. Uh, that will be non-guided, so that will be a sustain, one sustained hit. And then threes. Threes. Oh, can, Twin linked. Oh, can I re-roll one of the other? You can, but then you won't have it on your main cannon. Yeah, that's fine. So that's three. Three? Yeah. Four ups. He's dead. <laughs> Uh, it was a valiant charge, man. It was a valiant charge. By the way, for the viewers' uh, discretion, I'd been tempting target off at the end of last turn because I uh, wasn't going to get it. So that one's uh, gone, and that one's scored. There we go. Uh, it's just a big gun. It's a hit. It's a wound. Straight through. Yeah. AP 5, I presume. Uh, no, I don't think it's that much. Uh, it is that much, yeah. Right, so decent for three. So you can't you can't not destroy it, but just see how much you do for the funsies. It's the big twelve. It is absolutely cool. Do you touch off the ammunition? Come on, nah, no. It's just there's nothing left to touch off. It just <laughs> it evaporates. There's nothing left. There we go. It is truly down to a couple of platoons of guardsmen, uh, right. and I think it's rapidly going to become a platoon of guardsmen. I think it's just going to be Creed's mob left. So we've got these guns into these then. Okay, so 24 inch range on the plasmas. See how many of those you've got? Uh, just the one. Just the one. So one plasma. Yeah. One plasma, five missile pods. Plasma hits. Plasma wounds. Plasma kills a guy. And the missile pods are going to be 10 shots. Yes. Oh. Ooh, it's a lot of ones. Are you rolling ones? Because you have a commander. Thank so, God for that. Thank God indeed. Thank. Wait, you don't believe in God, you're a Tau. Uh, thank the greater good. There we go. Thank the ethereals. Uh, no guiding. So, um, hit on fours. Uh, winning on twos. Uh, five go through. Um, AP one, but on an objective, so I'm getting cover. And I'm in cover anyway. Ooh, not good. Four more are going to go down. That could have been. It would have been good to get some saves there. One, two. I think it's going to have to be the the two uh, sergeants. Unfortunately, well, no. I think I think for narrative purposes, one of the sergeants got to live, right? So we'll get rid of the sergeant and the uh, and the commander. So you got anything that can hit them? Uh, no, his burst cannon's eighteen inch range, yeah. and I don't think his cyclic was plasma in range. Unfortunately, right. Uh, but he saved your ass on all those ones, so yeah. he's still contributed. Uh, I think, is it these two? Yeah. Into them? Yeah. Cool. So I'll guide with long strike. Same as last time. Yeah. Cool. Right, so I'll shoot with long strike first. What do you want to shoot for? I'd shoot his big gun last because it can evaporate yeah. uh, a weapon team. Right, let's... Uh... He's got eight shots on his other guns because he gets the best smart missiles. <laughs> that must be a typo, man, but it's it's still funny. Uh, so he will be hitting... Oh, he's not guys who's hitting on threes because it's not heavy, this gun. Um, oh, oh my god, it's every, it's gone everywhere. Uh, wounding on uh, three to a twin linked. Nice. Four. Four. Uh, yep, yeah, so just four ups. No, rolling like ass on these saves, man. Uh, one dead, two dead, and a wound gone. So do you want to shoot your main cannon now? <laughs> gets to re-roll it. It gets the hit. Gets the kill. And then it's just the ghost kill left now. So he's got the fusion gun. Hit on two two shots hit on threes. That should get the job done. Uh, that's a sustained hit and he's guided, so that actually becomes three hits. Winning on twos. Uh that kills him. That kills him. Even with that rather um underpowered <laughs> yeah. uh wound roll, you still get him because it goes straight through two wounds minimum. Yeah. Reinforcements. Just I don't think it's gonna make a difference. But I'm gonna I'm gonna use yeah, yeah. it. Charge over there. Charge over here. Do you make it in? Ten. Yeah. Ten. Boom, move blocked me at the same time. Ooh, I'm in a fit of rage. I've destroyed the terrain. Uh, <laughs> uh, so do you want to punch me and then 
Let's do a turn five. Yep, so three hits. <laughs> oh no, that's a battle suit. Uh, where are you? I don't Good think time. it's going to be much better. Uh, six attacks. Ah, oh, so it's like a Ross, isn't it? Hit Was it hit on? Five. Yeah. Worse than a Ross. Nice. Uh, sustained hits on that. Yep. Yeah. Was he guided? Yes, he was guided. No. Should yes, we check it? Let's yeah. check it if it says ranged only. This is Tau after all. Yeah. From the third battle on onwards, all range, all range oh, weapons. Gosh. Yeah, for a moment it was like, hang on, this is Tau. It's not going to affect them in melee, is it? Great. Three wounds. All right. Uh, yep, yeah, here we go. Uh, all three go through. So I'm going to lose uh, two uh, grenade launcher guys. And the autocannon team is going to lose a man. Uh, my attacks back will... Well, they won't do anything, but we'll do it just to show willing. <laughs> uh, so we've got four attacks from the two teams. One hit. No wounds. There you go. Over there? <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to bitch slap each other. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to do any damage no. to you. Fair enough. That's me done. That's you done. Got to bring it down. Got storm. Yes. Nice. Right, well, I think it's going to be a quick turn, Fuck Guard 5. In fact, we'll do a summary. <laughs> we'll be back. What we'll do, guys, we're going to be back at the end of Battle Round 5. We're going to do a summary of Guard Turn 5. Summary of Tile Turn 5, because I think it's going to be pretty... I think it's going to be pretty much just mopping up. Yeah. But we'll see what we see, see what we do. We're back at the end of, of Turn 5 and the game. End of Battle Round 5. And end of the game. As quiet settles over this battlefield, it has been the scene of a titanic ha, clash <laughs> of forces. The old versus the new, the Imperium versus the Tau. Starting off with a summary of the guard turn. We really didn't have a lot left going into uh, our turn five. Uh, we had one more column of reinforcements of guardsmen uh, who came on here. The reason we came on in our in our back line uh, was because one of the cards we drew was extend battle lines. And uh, in order to get maximum points on that, uh, we needed to be able to hold our home objective. Sadly, uh, abandoning my objective turned out to be a bit of a problem. We moved on and we shot the Tower Christ suits. We were able to uh, get, a, uh, get a lucky shot through, which managed to kill the two wound one. Uh, but the rest of the firepower, the lads and all that just pitter pattered off. Uh, and then we need to make a nine inch charge. And if we made that nine inch charge, uh, we would have got onto our home objective. And that would have given us uh, three more points for extend battle lines. That would have been significant. As it was, even with the CP reroll, I rolled a double one into a one and a two. Technically better, <laughs> but not good enough unfortunately due to their blunder the remaining tower crisis suits uh with the support of the uh of the hammerhead in the tower turn came over and the other various smart missile systems and absolutely just obliterated the uh the 20 man platoon not a man was left standing with the uh with the cayune uh simon uh, getting a bit lucky with some of the cayune shots he just was generating double sustained hits left, right, and center. And so the platoon was just turned to a bloody, bloody pulp. Um, elsewhere, for sort of the guard, we essentially just held the middle point because our other uh, objective that we drew was area denial. We couldn't destroy the Tau Devilfish, but uh, we basically just consolidated it. So we had every man jack that we could onto the objective. But sadly, the Tile Delfish is still being there uh, and being in range uh, within six inches of the center meant that um, uh, meant that we weren't able to get the maximum on area denial, meaning we only got three points. Um, now, if either one of these things had changed, if the Delfish had died or if the, uh, or if the extend battle lines had gone off, well, whew, might have been a different game. Because we went over to the Tau turn 5 then. And they did get 15 on uh, the priority. They were able to hold all the objectives but one. Uh, we only got 5 on the priority. Unfortunately, we were only able to uh, to hold that central one. Um, and that meant that 
the they were pretty close on the points. Then Simon drew one objective, and it was assassinate. <laughs> and he took one look at that blob right there, and the fact that the only unit with volume that could go near it was the crisis suit. Was it, that that could do anything to it? Couldn't get near it. Yeah. So you were like, I'm not even going to try. Yeah. So then you drew your next card and it was deploy teleporter behind enemy. behind enemy lines, behind enemy lines. Bear in mind, up until this point, with the 15 points that Simon had got, he was only four points behind the guard. He had one behind enemy lines and that would have got him to being one point behind the guard. He needed to move one of his units into my deployment zone. There was only one that could make it into range. And it was the regular strike. He rolled, he rolled, he measured it out. Regular move wasn't going to do it. He needed an advance and he needed to get at least, he needed to get at least a five on the advance. He rolled the dice. He got a four. He used a CP reroll. 33% chance. <laughs> and he rolled a six getting him the extra two points and netting him the victory by a singular point ah oh, simon very very good game sir very very well played i know that even with the titan going down early that was a difficult battle for you and just to let me embrace my narrative juices for one more moment <laughs> The last thing the high command sees, the last order that cut, the last report that comes over the master Vox is Mordia stand in the name of the emperor. You will not falter. And the final pick recording from the servo skull hovering over the battle is a platoon of guardsmen facing back to back the glorious standard of Mordia in the, uh, in the center with Tau armoured assets and battle suits surrounding them on all sides. Uh, a, a death befitting the Emperor's true finest. There we go. Simon, how did you feel about that game? We'll go straight into the final thoughts. <laughs> uh, well, to be fair, 900 points of guards almost beat a full tower army. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty crazy. That I think we both knew when that title went down early, it was kind of the Tower's game to lose. Yeah. at that point but the fact that it came down to a single point and the fact that uh if i had made that charge or if I, you'd uh, killed him and the turn before yeah if i'd made that charge or if you hadn't made both five up saves there the guy would have had it it was so close as i always say it always comes down <laughs> to the infantryman and his rifle and where the god machines of the adeptus mechanicus failed the rifleman of the guard almost, almost kind of day. There was basically three things that I couldn't change about it. There was the the charge there that didn't go off, temp tire that didn't go off, and then the devil fish denying me those two extra points. Yeah. <sighs> so close. So what do you think about Tal? Mm, uh, it's difficult to say on the first game. Um, I don't, I genuinely, I don't know. You're a total beginner to the faction, so yeah. you could. So almost your first impressions is more valuable than anyone else's because obviously people watch this might be interested in Tau, and there might be you know, GW might be like, oh, well, what's Tau like? I didn't watch these yeah. videos, but you know what I mean. Like if someone from GW did something <laughs> across this, it would be useful for them to know what it's like to play Tau for the first time. I'd like to have played this with my Steel Legion. I know that much. You would have popped it. Yeah. Pop the tanks. Yeah, I think that that you know. But I mean, it was there, you saw what it did to a Titan, so it's going to smash. Um, Chimeras. Chimeras. <laughs> um, not so much fun against infantry, but I, that could well be the list. Yes, I think perhaps we knew the Titan was coming and we didn't overly tailor because this was literally my normal list that I just had 320 more points to stick into it. But I basically did take every bit of anti tank that I could. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it, it was, yeah. I, I, I think it's one of those you just need to play a few times and it's it's probably not got the highest skill ceiling, I don't think. Um, what do you mean? In terms of, I think it's one that you could sort of learn reasonably quickly. 
couple um, of couple of games you start yeah. getting a feel for oh remember my coon turned three and stuff yeah, like that and actually what you should be doing with the units new they should be shooting at um i think you were pretty good on your guiding um yeah i think you know make you know making those conscious decisions where like okay no long strike doesn't need it the ghost yeah. kill needs it yeah and that made a big difference um I, I, you know i think it's you know those rail guns are fantastic but they're a bit overkill against the guardsmen <laughs> yeah i mean i mean i think once once the titan went down you know, long strike and the, the other flying fish thing. Um, Regular strike. Yeah. You know, they've got five shots. Or six shots. Seven. Well, seven then. But it's, you know... you. Can but one them. of them's so anti-tank. And one of them's like, just bolt of fire. Yeah, For all intents and purposes, it's twin-link bolt of fire. When you think about it. Because strength five and strength four doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, yeah, it's like storm bolts with a silly... You know, would, would I rather have a rush? Yeah. You know, D, battle cannon. D, you know, yeah could do with a bit more AP but it's got blast so you can shoot infantry with it you can have two heavy bolters you've got a you good old heavy bolter Simon Patton heavy bolter yeah yeah you've got you can have a last can you can have your hunter killer you can stubber have, you're stubber so uh, I mean because your rust basically gets the same number of shots on its stubber for free as you get for the hunt for the seeker missile system yeah. just like the accoutrement yeah your rusts have got a nice bit of volume i think people underestimate the volume that rusts bring yeah I, you know they're, they're very one dimensional i don't know what the other gun's like i killed it yeah um it's <laughs> it's not great to be honest um i don't like i used to love the iron cannon uh, i mean i only loved it for its profile i've always been a rail cannon yeah uh rail cannon man um D6 plus 3, so similar to a battle cannon, yeah. but it's only strength 8, AP minus 2, 3 damage. So it's like a battle cannon with 1 extra AP if you overcharge it, but uh, 2 less strength. Mm. That's what I, I miss blast. There's not much blast in this army at all, is there? That has blast. Ah, well, there you go. I did have blast and you blatted it. I did blast it, <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe, there was a bit of, maybe that's got blast. You might have missed out on a couple of shots there. Yeah. Fortunately... You got the win, and I think with missing Kayu in turn three and maybe missing a few rules, I think it's still. I think you deserve to get that. Yeah, to I mean, get I'll that gladly win. play them again. I think be you know it's. Uh... You're here first. <laughs> We've awakened something. <laughs> um, and I do. I do like the bottles. To be fair, I mean. Yeah, I. I have to say, I quite. I. I know. I, might, I know. I get lambasted. I quite like playing Tau. I quite. They. They do feel. In many ways, kind of similar to, to guard with a little bit of a twist with like the, you know, the suits do something a bit different. Um, but I think I like stealth suits. God, they were terrible. They're terrible. They were, I remember using them at the beginning of 10th in like one game and being like, oh, they didn't really do very much. Maybe it was like a bit of a fluke. And I mean, to be fair, I may have misused them completely. No, I don't think so. I think the fact that at the beginning of the game when we were, when you were like, oh, I've got 20 points, and I said, what do you want? Do you want more OC or more uh, anti But you were like, oh, a bit of both. I'm like, well, I've got these stealth suits, and I've got, I can scrounge together you, you and another squad of fire warriors. Um, and I put those in the list thinking that they've gone down to 20 points model. They were like 35 points of model at the beginning. Yeah, 120 points. 120 points for six. So I think 60 points for three is better, because you can like start doing action and stuff with them. But 120 points for six of them. Same squad as the same. It's the same points cost as a unit of guard. Yeah, I know what I'd rather have. <laughs> I think that it's because the guard can get guard on their own. Don't do much. As we saw, got obliterated. As we saw, got obliterated. Didn't really achieve anything. Like killed a stealth suit. Killed two two pathfinders. Yeah. But it's the fact that you can have leaders in the guard. Yeah. The fact that you get the uh, the, the, the 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 banners and everything. It just. Yeah, I you know I I think infantry guard are, are just really taxing to play against. Yeah, and, you know I, you I, look tired. Yeah, because it was I not mean, not in a horrible way. <laughs> yeah, we've been friends a lot. For anyone goes, that's rude of you, Mordian. We've been friends. What like probably like oh, coming up to oh, five or six years. Five or six years. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've broken bread together over in America. There you go. Uh, no, you ditched me. You found someone else. One time, <laughs> one time, so a, a, a support of the channel offered to buy me lunch, and I was like, "Yeah, see you later, shit lords." <laughs> um, I, I, you know, I think what was interesting again because obviously we've been playing a lot of Necrons in tenth, and you know, we, we said last week uh, about the you know the new codex and 
the, the, the original build of Necrons, could you could you wipe out a block of 20 Warriors or Lich Guard? If you can, you're going to win. If you can't, you're going to lose. You know, I think with the, with you know, if you're running Krieg, you're running four, five, six squads of them, you know, actually... Three squads of Krieg with Death Gun Marshals, three squads of Krieg with Command Squads. Everyone's got Feel No Pain. Everyone's got OC out the wazoo. Everyone's got Wade. So even if the Krieg blobs break, the Death and Core Marshals can make them auto pass. Even if the Krieg blobs break, the banner keeps you with one OC per guy. You just march onto them in the board and you just tell them, take cover, take cover, take cover. It really, yeah. And again, there's not many lists that are going to chew through that. So, you know, how Guard have got such a bad win percentage with <laughs> is beyond me. Because a lot of people are taking things like Warlord Titans. Uh, not Warlord, Warhound Titans and absolutely <laughs> memeing it. Uh, I also, and also, it is a good question, and um, and I I think that the reason um, that a lot of people uh, I've, I've I've pondered this why uh, why the guard win rate is kind of low, is because it's all well and good when you've got the Vrax Armory equivalent of a collection. I mean, collecting the armor for twenty five years, yeah, I haven't thrown away a model or anything. So um, I think when you've got that depth of collection, and I'm not not winding myself off here, I'm sort of it's, this is almost a it's like a the double edged sword of guard. Guard can be incredibly good, but you need to have the resources to to do it. And if you're a new, to be fair. I think it's a bit different with guard because uh, I think absolutely. But I think with guard, it's I think it's accentu accentuated because if you run guard and you've only been starting since ninth and you've got Caden shock troopers, yeah, and you keep running Caden instead of Cree because you feel like you have to because you've got the Caden models, yeah, you're basically playing with your infantry about 30% down in terms of power. Yeah. And considering that infantry is the best bit, yeah. as we as we have sort of learned that over the course of these uh, battle reports, um, playing with one arm, playing, playing with your infantry with one arm tied behind your back is a big handicap. Yeah. 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 I, I you know, I, I, I really think it, it plays so... I, I mean, we played a lot. Of, I played a lot against your infantry the last couple of months, and it's like, yeah. No. Even we're turning it down like this. Four, four units. I mean, all right, this isn't. You know, last week or next week, whichever way it comes out. You know, we're, if I had my steel legion with all the heavy bolters and the stubbers and the chimeras, that would have been a lot more. We need to do. I think first battle report when we come back in the new year. I think we need to. It's got to be steel legion versus modern Angard. I think we just need to see which way that goes. The big question is, Simon, and and I will. I don't. If you if you physically grown out loud and launch us out <laughs> that window, I will understand. But your preferred way of playing Steel Legion yeah. is Mech. Yeah. And my preferred way of playing more Nine Guard is pure yeah. infantry. <laughs> well, that's fine. I feel like I feel that's a that's a proper experiment we should do. I don't I don't mind toning it down and doing like <laughs> hybrid guard. No, but it's all right because I'm going to unleash my Canoptic Court in, on you in the New Year. So and you're just going to harvest all, all I, of my guys. I hope so. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. But that's... I, I I think it's inter I think that would be very interesting just to see because um, mm. I, I I you know I, I, you would have the Dacker. Yeah. I, I, yeah, you'd have a lot of DACA. Yeah, and, and have I got enough DACA to, to chew through six units of Krieg? All the lads going to raise. So it would start adding up. Yeah. It would start adding up. And then, I th in my head, I think that game is you blast and blast and blast for three turns. Yeah. And then you go for those quick injections of OC onto objectives from your Chimeras. Yeah. And, and because you would have 20 OC to inject onto a Chimera, yeah. onto an objective, I think you could... I think that would be a very interesting game. I think it would be the usual grind for the first three and three turns, and then it would be can Sam snatch it? And you've had to do that a few times. You've had to snatch from the uh, from uh, victory on turn four, and often turn five, you've you've pipped it by like a point. Yeah, it's been the last few games. You have very much had to just grit your teeth <laughs> and get through the first three turns. Yeah, and uh, it definitely. You know that's that's a tough. That's a, that is tough. Yes, I love the love the infantry. Yeah, <laughs> every day in the call, it's like a day on the farm. Every page like a fortune. Every meal a banquet. Every formation a parade. I love the call. I love the call, Simon. <laughs> I, I I think a heavy infantry list is not broken. It's obviously not broken, but it's tough. And I think if you're not ready for it, I, I, yeah. And I think you're going to catch a lot of people off guard because they're going to look at a blob of 20, what, 20 warriors, 20, uh, 
cards and think I'm just going to mow through them. Yeah. And then, no, you're not. Yeah. And if you do, my favourite rule are going to come back. My favourite rule. <laughs> Um, oh. which I'm still bitter about and I'm going to be salty about that for you still managed to pull it you, the thing is you are adapting to reinforcements quite well I only got to reinforcements twice and it was basically inconsequent well it was it was one time was that impactful was very, yeah but that that was I mean that was that was an interesting case in point because if I hadn't brought if I hadn't got um, no prisoners mm. I wouldn't have killed those units mm. I would have left them because I knew exactly what you were going to do when I killed them yeah um so, you know, that kind of forces you. Do I really want to kill this these units or do I want... Because uh, I know it's going to cost me. Do you want to know what's... Even, I, I think, as is sort of my closing thought, I don't think GW is going to get rid of it. And we've seen it with... The, the, you do it with Tyranids. And you know what's weird? I actually think the Tyranid one's more oppressive. Because when your Guardsmen come back, you say, oh, yeah, but the Guardsmen get all sorts of weapons. They don't do dick without officer yeah, support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Tyranid one... It's in the detachment where each time you shoot the unit, it gets to move D6 inches closer towards you. And it's not one... I, I've checked this, and please correct me if I'm wrong, chat down in the comment section, but it's not one time. It's each time this unit is hit, it surges. Wow. So if you come on here nine inches away, even if you're not on someone's objective, if they turn around and shoot, yeah. shoot you once, you go... Pfft, and they shoot you again, you go... Pfft. Do you yeah. see what I mean? It's like... Pfft, just start going towards them. So... I think the turn in one could be pretty bloody nasty. And the fact that you can put like five at field no. Oh, I don't know if you've got the five at field no pain. I think that's a different attachment, but still. And you want to know what's even worse, Simon? Even worse, gargoyles. Because gargoyles move 12 inches, yeah, 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 yeah. then they shoot, then they move, then in your turn you shoot them, they start moving towards you again. <laughs> I, I, I think we, we've, also, <clears throat> we've got teams coming up in two yeah. months. Um, it's two weeks, is it? Two months. Two months, okay. Um, nice and that that can have some really top quality players mm. in there and you also get some quite there's quite a smorgasbord of yeah yeah um, yeah it'd be really interesting to see if you take a really heavy infantry list how that plays into something. I think I'm going to I mean teams I mean if teams if I'm on a team I want to make sure I'm not letting the team down yeah and the very least, you can always chuck me. Yeah, I can always be. My team. Yeah, yeah. I can always, <laughs> I can always be like with pure empty guard. If if shoes like this is a particularly horrible list, I'll be like, just chuck me into it. Yeah, chuck me into it, and I'll get you a draw. Yeah, because I'll just fucking march onto these objectives, yeah. and I'll just just the enemy. Work. I might lose everything, but they're not going to get any primary. Yeah. And I, I think, it's... and it's WTC at teams as well. Yeah, yeah. So that would have been a draw at teams. Mm. I would have, I would have got a draw with half a platoon left. Yeah, <laughs> you would have got a draw with. Half an army I would have got a draw with 990 points. No, 900 points dead on I, from turn two onwards. And I just, I just don't think people will build to to, to co compete with that. No. I mean, don't get me wrong, the good players will play around it. And But I think the average, you go to your average tournament, that most people will not have an army. Mm. You know, they'll look at that. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm no shaped way a good player at slightest but I've been facing ah uh, you say that's I've been, I've been, you've got plenty of wins and draws on this channel now uh, I've been facing off against these lists now for two three months yeah roughly and I'm still scratching my head thinking how the frig do I deal with it uh, yeah and it is five it's like firefighting and it is like right what what's the <laughs> there's like the endless waves of zerg like, it, 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 and it, it, it's like right okay so what is the the correct way of I'd love to. Um, I've only ever used the pure pure infantry against you once, and it was soul destroying. So I gave you a little break from doing <laughs> it. But I would love my. What I would love to do is get you on the. This is sort of my last closing thought. Get you to try it out one time. Yeah. So I get to see what it's like. So I want to feel it. Yeah. I want to feel the pain. Yeah. Um, also, all get just even if you just start on hybrid. Yeah. Get, you've not, you've never used blob guard. I'd love to just chuck you three blobs of Kriegers yeah, yeah. with Death Corps Marshal in them. And just watch your brain just explode <laughs> as you realise like how hard, how much you've been playing on hard mode with Mech Guard. Yeah, Mech Guard's very good, but it's very precise. Yeah, yeah. You make a mistake and it punishes you. Whereas Infantry Guard's like, oh, I lost my two, I'll bring it back. Christ, I've been playing Grey Knights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but also my dream, Simon, something I'd love to do next year. No, no, no time limit. Just next year, I would love us to go to a double tournament. Yeah. And we both bring infantry. And we bring a thousand. You bring a thousand points. Because it's, it's much easier to manage. You're only managing yeah, yeah. your own thousand. Yeah. You bring your thousand points. I bring a thousand points. And together we have a little 
comp like it's like friendly right like two officers on the table like on the battlefield <laughs> they're like ah oh, drive the men oh yes my men will take that objective before yours damn your eyes so no my men will take that objective you know it'd be kind of cool to get I into promise it not to sing i will promise <laughs> i will promise not to sing there we go if you come to a double tournament and bring infantry with you <laughs> <sighs> and on that note well, on that bombshell on that bombshell uh, we are going to end this battle port. Um, this is actually the last battle port Simon and I are going to uh, film together ever because he's decided, no, 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 not quite that bad. <laughs> he's not He's not quite got, got to test me that much with the infantry. This is the last battle port that we're, uh, we're filming for the new year. To your, to you guys, you probably won't notice it because we're going to obviously schedule them and stagger them out. Stagger them out. But um, what it does mean is that there will be a few... Uh, uh, a few weeks where you can throw some ideas at us and when we come back into new year we can uh, do some different battle port ideas and if you've got a particular unit you want to see it'll give us a little bit of time to Nigel, maybe Nigel Nigel Nigel, Nigel the Nightbringer if you want to see Nigel the Nightbringer it makes Simon very happy uh, get that down in the comment section but basically yeah this is this is going to be a bit, a bit we're going to have a bit of um, you'll, be, you'll be away for a few weeks and uh, gives us a chance to get some new units up and come back in the new year and uh, try some new and interesting things and if you've got any ideas viewers let us know down in that comment section. As always, let us know your general thoughts and feedback. I'm sure that we got a lot wrong in this battle port. I'm not a tile player. Um, I've already used them probably half a dozen times, including 9th edition. And Simon's never used them before. And I've never used a Warhammer before. So if you put down in the comment section, oh, there was a, tit there was a Titan strategy I could have used. Um, and it was saved, Kevin. I will be, uh, I'll be quite upset. <laughs> but I will also appreciate the feedback um also if you did enjoy this battle please don't forget to uh, smash the like button it really does help with the uh, algorithm i know it's a bit cringe asking for likes boys but it really does make a big difference uh, the youtube algorithm it, is, it has a glutton for likes also if you enjoy this content and you want to see more like it then please subscribe to never miss an episode and last but certainly not least i want to say a personal massive thank you to all of the channel members and Patreon supporters. I've been doing Morning Glory uh, full time now for about 19 months and it's almost two years and I, th I never thought it would go that long. I thought it'd be like a little year long adventure and that would be it. a little, little, nice little chapter in my life. But thanks to the incredible support of the Patreons and of the channel members and of the community, the community that sent me the Warhound Titan, that sent me Kevin. Thank you to all of you guys. I could not have done any of this without you. And uh, it has been an incredible journey so far. And I hope that it's going to be even better going into the future. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, as always, we'll see you guys next time.